Two months ago, the Carthage Firebirds and the Lakeland Muskies entered the Emergence Midwest. They battled hard to qualify for their playoffs, with the Firebirds going 6-2 and two to claim the number three overall seed, and the Lakeland Muskies going 4-4 four and four even to get the number five seed. They had battled against many tough teams, including Augustana and the CSP Golden Bears, the number two and the number one seed to get here. There's only one team that each team hasn't faced, and that is each other here in the Emergence Midwest NECC Finals. Wicked! We got the Carthage Firebirds taking on the Lakeland University Muskies. We got Tanner and Toner casting tonight. We got ourselves a thriller, a best of five series to start us off. Starting rosters for the Firebirds will be Slumdank, Coney, Kalioth, Hoaxed, and Mace, you haven't gotten to see in a while because they keep banning his map. Cryotic! <laughs> I'm excited. You excited? I'm so uh, We excited. got a lot of Valorant ahead of us here tonight. <laughs> and for the Muskies, we have Abink, Hanson Man, Soren, Nugget, and Ethan. We will be playing on Bind first in our best of five map marathon here. The Firebirds will be on defense to start it off with the composition of Viper, Rays, Fade, Chamber, who's going to get nerfed very soon, RIP, and <laughs> Rimstone. <laughs> For the Muskies, we have Fade, Rays, Astra, Sky, and Cypher, who is very interesting to see. I feel like we haven't seen Cypher a whole lot throughout this uh, season. Yeah, for sure. I I think this is the first time we've seen Cypher and Astra as well. I'm, I'm very oh, excited yeah, to actually, see this you're right. in. Wow. <laughs> you know, I was joking around with Slumdank, and uh, same with uh, one of my buddies on the League of Legends team, uh, Raymond the Goat, always says that the day that... Uh, uh... Oh, wait, never mind. I'll tell the joke later. It'll be bad luck. Okay, here we go. We got the start of the mound. Coney is going to teleport away as the Muskies are going to head toward B long. All five of them will commit to that part of the site. Slumdank is there, as well as Cryotic, to make sure they slow that down with those... Uh... Viper Wall and Brimstone Smokes. They will all get out of the way of the Prowler. Coney will get caught, though. Be blinded for a second there as they will take sight. Firebirds are going to try and slow him down. They get one pick. That's traded away. Two picks. Kaleoff can't get three. 2v3 now against the Firebirds. This is up to Hoaxed and Cryotic to finish it off in round number one here. Yeah, them still over by A site. We're going to see how they're going to get back to B. One takes the teleporter. Friday coming in from behind. And Hoax up by Hookah. Cryotic will get the first pick. Hoax is almost taken out there. Last almost gets one. Standing. They have the crosshair angle going. They won't be able to do it, so Cryotic's gonna have to do it himself. It will be tough with Cypher's camera being able to see immediately. He will have to tap it. Can't get the kill, and the first round will go to the Muskies. Really great first round, a great push on to uh, B long that that was really well executed yeah you know I mean Firebirds now playing on the save once again this would be a crucial round to win mm -hmm. you know if you're the Firebirds you really want to disrupt that that bonus round that the uh, Muskies are trying to get right now uh, and interestingly enough I thought it was really interesting that the Muskies elected for a five man push to start it off we haven't seen a five man push in a while mm -hmm. we've been seeing a lot of split pushes through mid and through uh you know mains which is what we're gonna see along here as it seems like the muskies are gonna try and push through showers yeah, as well as by the teleporter round one is the best opportunity to do so especially down b long because there isn't any rifles or any uh um sniper rifles to to get them oh wow Kratik is just getting punished in the yeah, corner Kratik being pummeled there and is able to get out without a scratch actually <laughs> A lot of the Firebirds electing to have shorties this round. Just trying to slow them all down, use their util to get their picks and the information. Yeah, and it's going to slow down the muskies a lot. They're going to be rotating a little bit over to shore. Let's see what's going to come from it. Well, now we play the waiting game here. There goes the flash. That gathers the info that someone's been spotted. So Cryotic will try and get the pick, but had to shoot the Prowler first and will be picked off. Firebird's now rotating to sight. Kaleoth can't quite get the what he's looking for. Will get taken out there by Soren. Firebird's down two in numbers now. That's There's one. one pick. There's oh. not quite two as Ethan will trade Hoaxed away. 
Firebird's in a 2v4 scenario now. Slumdank and uh, Kony there will both fall as the Muskies will go up 2-0. They are able to force it. Ethan even buying the Vandal going for the, the real risky play on that force <laughs> there. And it works out. For sure, but now the Firebirds have the advantage. They get to buy rifles, and let's see what they pick. We got three Phantoms, two Vandals for the Firebirds. They need to win this one. Here we go. Firebirds now just have to stop this bonus from being effective here for the Muskies, and they'll be right back in it in terms of economy. Uh, at most, you probably want to drop about two players in the sea, at least have three rifles going into the next round when the Muskies should be able to full buy once again. It looks like they're going to be spreading out their resources. Astro over by A, pushing showers. And two going B long. We may just see a full default here as they're going to just try and play for a little bit of picks. Oaks is going to peek the angle early. Oaks now beginning to lurk. Will run into a couple of tripwires along his path. Here we go, though. Alrighty, spots tripwire number one. Slumdank is revealed, and Kony will teleport away to kind of give the illusion that uh he wasn't actually spotted firebird slowing down that push on the b site cryotic doing a great job of anchoring down and Oaks gets the pick on the flank and that's going to be a lot of spacing to be able to take advantage to it but hoax is going to be running back a little bit coney now has to back off coney tries to find the pick but nugget will be the one to get it prowler going out from kaylee off now as slumdank also goes down We'll see Kaleoth trying to use the Prowler, just take as much space as possible. Firebirds will now have to deal with the fact that the Muskies are teleporting away over to A site as Astra has found it completely empty. There's oh, a quick pick no. from Thorin as Cryotic and Hoaxed didn't quite plan to check that angle. That's detrimental to the Firebirds. 1v3 for Kaleoth. Yeah, left in a tough spot having a 1v3, hopefully isolate these... Uh, Isolate those 1v1s, not quite able to do it. Ah oh, man, you know, looking forward, what do you think the Firebirds got to do? Do you think it's a nerve thing, like they're still kind of settling in on the fact that it's the finals? I think it is just a nerve thing. I think right there, the best thing to do is just to... Because uh, um, with the first kill that Hoax got, you know, we had a lot of spacing we could have taken advantage for a flank. And it just was not optimized. But that's all right. It's It's a new round. And hopefully we can bring it back. This one we're going to have to save. We see some shorties. We see some shares and some classics. Let's see how the Firebirds do. Hopefully fill out that bingo card. We will see the Fade Ultimate being used by the Muskies as they try to take a site quickly. Cryotic has to fall back a little bit. Hoax gets a grenade kill on Nugget. Oh, and down goes Kaleoth as he runs right into the crossfire of Ethan. Hoax now looking for a shot, and A Bank will be the one to win that one as Cryotic gets Hanson Man. Firebirds three versus three right now. Spike is planted. Cryotic trying to get that flank going. They do destroy the camera. And Whoa! Cryotic gets a nice headshot to even up that numbers game. The Astra Star does not work out in favor as the rest exactly of them get another. Another rifle there. Now it's up to Slumdank with time running out, and the spike was not half. He is able to read the smoke, though. Heard him jumping up. Tries to go for the defusal. There we go. Cam should have not enough time to get that one off as we will head into round number ah. five. But did get all of the rifles out of place so far, so that's going to hurt the econ. So hopefully, let's see what we're at right now. Firebird should be able to full buy at least a couple of rifles here. Both teams should be able to, uh, but the Econ is still going to be looking a little bit better in the hands of Lakeland right now. And Ethan really stepping up, has a plus 4 KD right now for the Muskies. And right now the highest we have for the Firebirds is Slumdank, the captain, going 3-3. Three and three. You know, one thing uh, interesting is uh, that the Firebirds have been trying out uh, is... Slumdank has not really been the IGL of the team lately. Um, Slumdank, while being the captain, uh, the IGL role has been filled more so by Kaleoth. So uh, I know that's been a development just in the past, like, recent weeks and throughout this season. So 
I'm excited to see, you know, if I can start seeing what effect that might have in terms of temperament on the team. For sure, yeah, definitely interesting. Uh, two and hookah, there go the grenades. Tony tries to pre-fire through that smoke. Not quite able to do it. Launching smoke. Slumdeck now also has a lot of smokes to work against as Coney was stopped. And Coney will be taken out by Hanson Man as uh, Ray's kind of flies by as a diversion. Firebird's left in a tough retake spot now. They're going to try and clear the point with the uh, Brimstone Ultimate there. It doesn't quite get anyone. Prowler is now out, and now it's just up to Kaleoth who will be taken out. Firebird's looking to be in a tough spot as they are down facing a five round deficit to start off their finals most definitely lakeland right now is great synergy with all their abilities that they're using at the most precise moments and then just other agents playing off of each other it is it is great to see so hopefully the firebirds can find a way around it um and i i know they can we've seen deficits like this uh but it, it's kind of surprising we're not taking a timeout yeah, you know, you would think that uh, by five down, you would start to think, what are we doing wrong here? Um, but maybe they have it figured out just in their own uh, comms. Ooh, oh, and Coney couldn't quite get the headshot there. And so the Firebirds now have to play the passive role once again as they're trying to draw out some utility. Craddock will get rid of, I believe that was the camera going up. Uh... Oh, we have a little bit of downtime before the action kicks up. The map order tonight will be bind first, which is what we're on right now. And the Firebirds have had, uh, you know, hot and cold moments with this with this map. They've had a lot of overtimes. I think three over the course of the season went to overtime on this map, and I think they only won one of them. Mm. Um, and then after that will be Breeze, and then Fracture, which will be interesting because I don't think we've seen the Firebirds play on that before. Yeah, I don't believe we have so far this this season Coney there we go ah, oh! Oh! gets out of there before the getting picked off but ethan once again stepping up for the muskies gets another pick as this uh astro ultimate is something that the firebirds haven't really had to play against this season so it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how they played around it it did allow for lakeland to take quite a bit of space there as ethan's gonna be able to plant the bomb Spike is playing at 45 seconds is on the clock. Here we go. Couldn't quite get the pick there. Slumneck will get one though. 3v2 now. They get another. One more to beat. Firebirds are trying to take this one. Oh, Storm wow. will get it though with patience. And Slumneck will turn and take them out. Firebirds get on the board after five rounds of struggle. Yeah, what do I know about timeouts? <laughs> Apparently they didn't need one. That's going to be really good for the Firebirds. That, but that Astra is just extremely dangerous, and the same with the Cypher, and we have not seen, we have not seen that at all. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe the Firebirds are just adjusting to playing against these agents right now. But it's just, yeah, it's just very interesting to see, not a chamber, first of all, on the map. As I feel like that's been a staple we've seen all season long. Mm -hmm. And then Astra is a controller that almost no one plays anymore, because you need incredible team synergy to really pull her off. For sure. Looks like Kaleoth will be bringing the Guardian, and we have an ultimate coming in from, uh, oh, can't remember the name. Coney. Coney, thank you. <laughs> Coney will be using Look the, down. uh, what is it called? I can't, I know it's just an operator ultimate, but it has a French name. Can't quite remember. They're looking in the one way being created right there by the brimstone smoke. Now they're just waiting for anyone to walk on through that crosshair. I'm trying to think of that name too. It's on the top of my head. Oh, and they mark one. There we Hopes go. We'll get the pick there on the flank and then retreat away. Very nice job of Hoax. Just getting that flank pick and then immediately taking position back. Firebird's not quite sure where the entire team is on the map. And in fact, we are going to start to see the rotation there by the Muskies. Tour de Force. Tour de Force. I knew something with the Tour de France. <laughs> Fun little ultimate there. See Astro going into her Astro form. Soren tries to catch someone lacking there on B long, but the Firebirds are taking a very passive approach to it. Mm -hmm. They have the numbers advantage. They don't need to force anything right now. 
and 20 seconds left Lecklin needs to find this push there goes the raise oh and oh. Him, Phil used the other gun to get the shots off Ten seconds left. nine seconds left eight seconds left they do need to just stop the plant they're not going to be able to do so though they will take out one two there and go. three there as the firebirds will get another round on the board there I think the nerves have finally calmed down. Firebirds are back. <laughs> I, I think we got ourselves a bit of a series on our hands. You know, I won't lie. I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking about like, yeah, like there might be some stress going on with this, <laughs> but we there's a possibility of five maps tonight. <laughs> oh dear. What a marathon we have going. We have to go get some energy drinks. We, we might need that. <laughs> we might need that if we have to go the full distance. Oh, it looks like Coney's gonna be buying an operator. Look at all that money he saved. <laughs> Firebirds holding on a three man on A, two on B, as they have been this whole map so far. We are going to see the muskies pushing up through B long into garden, as well as through hookah. They've got one in hookah. Hoax might actually get a pick with that grenade. Not quite able to. There's the fade ultimate to try and push sight. It's not going to accomplish it as Hoax actually gets on out of there without a scratch. And now we'll activate the ultimate. And ultimate goes out. Oh, whoa, does not find. Not quite able to find Handsome Man there as Kaleoth will have to be the one to put him down. Oh, that is a bummer. 3v4 for the Firebirds. Firebird's on the tough spot, but a great headshot by Kaleoth there. We'll start it off. Coney and Kaleoth about to run into the cypher. Oh. Not able to trade him as A-Bank gets it. And is taken down and ah. not quite able to get another pick as Slumdank. As the Firebirds now fall down again by four. Oh, that's a little bit of a bummer, but I think we still have a bit of money to spend. Yep. We can. We can full buy. Only one that can't buy full shields will be Coney. Helping out their teammates with the guns. And so the Econ is sitting fairly well for Lakeland. Firebirds setting up with the same 3-2 approach. One thing I might like to see a little more... It's just taking a bit more space in garden and be long right mm -hmm. there. I'd like to see something. I'd like to see chamber. I'd like to see Coney start setting up there again. Just to get information, you know, not give up that space immediately. Yeah. As and I, I think we've said that the past few times we've been on this map. Um, and, oh. Hoax there going to toss it on down. And Hoax real skill doesn't come on the defensive half. Hoax very great shot. Uh, wow, I just completely blanked. My bad. Hoax, very great shot, but ultimately I think his best skill is, is the space taking he creates mm -hmm. on sites. And those satchels are going to come in great handy, I think, on B site in taking space. Kaleoth gets the haunt destroyed. There's the first ping. I think there's the second raise. Blumdank able to trade one. Kaleoth shoots shoots down the uh, the haunt as it's a 2v4 now. Tough spot for the Firebirds once again. Cryotic and Kaleoth having to do almost the impossible here. And now Kaleoth slowed down. Cryotic asked to make something happen quick as Kaleoth falls. Gets one pick. Keeps being pre-fired here. And oh. can't quite land the shot on Ethan as the Firebirds fall down two to seven here on map number one. You guys are moving into round 10. I, I say there it is. <laughs> Just about to say, here comes the timeout. Uh, Coach West calling the timeout. We're seeing great aggression here from Lakeland knowing the right time to push. And usually with that raise, and it, normally you just take that raise out, you know, it's fine. But the entire team is just 
it just already yeah. there. It's a, a really quick succession and really quick execution from Lakeland. So what do you think the Firebirds really need to do? I think the main thing is controlling the pace right now. You know, it, it's all Lakeland's pace. It's everything that's happening. They have they are being very responsive. I think they need to get just a little more aggressive on defense, mm -hmm. which, you know, it's, it's a risky thing and it's not the most orthodox thing to do. But right now, I... I don't see them winning the actual defense game. Um, I think you need to throw a wrench in Lakeland's plan, get them start to just second guess themselves a bit. Maybe have someone just get a little bit aggressive. I mean, Coney, while Chambers still has two anchors, just throw yourself out there in some off angle really quickly and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, most definitely. Back to the pacing is that those two rounds that we won, I believe we're due to our pacings that we were they were playing to our hands the timer was being cut short i think that's exactly what the firebirds need to do and th then again spacing as well you know it, we we always say getting hookah right and all that is just the right. it's lum taking pretty showers pretty, pretty quickly mm -hmm. yeah it seems like yeah we're taking space we're taking garden we're taking showers we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two that's all <laughs> oh and wow. they've got number one by kaylee off starts it off gets one Haunt destroyed. Multiple bullets fired. Now they have a little bit more information. They're going to be slowed down by the snake bite. Oak's able to watch down long. You know, one thing I don't think we've mentioned, this is a LAN event. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Both teams are competing right outside our door right now. <laughs> they traveled to the Firebirds facility to come play against us. So teams are sitting right across from each other as they play right now, and that that could add to that tension or yeah. that hype. <laughs> uh, it's it's. I know the crowd is starting to build out there as we were heading in here to start the stream up. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest, or not the biggest, the scariest thing right now. We even have a land cam that we're probably going to oh, show we do. later we do on. Land cam we can show <laughs> later on. So we'll be excited to take a peek at that. Firebirds up in numbers right now. They lost Coney, but that's okay as they've Ooh, still dear. got. All the Firebirds just left B. It's wide open. B side is wide open right now, and you know, maybe it's for the best. Firebirds might want to play retake on this one right now. Not be caught in an awkward position. The only problem with this side is it is super awkward. Ten seconds left. Ethan gets hoaxed though, as they didn't check their flank there. Spike will get planted. Now it's up to Kaleoth. And Slumdank now, left alone in the 1v3. Not quite able to do it, 2-8. All right, we might be getting close to having to invoke something. Hmm? We might have to invoke a certain curse. Oh no. You know, I mean, some say we are the hidden sixth and seventh members of the team. <laughs> Who is saying that? Some people, like me and, and Sean over there, our producer <laughs> says it. Yeah, yeah. Fist bumps. All right, all Fist right. Bumps. I'll invoke this curse with you if you want, but they have to be the one to prove themselves. Okay, but the last round, complete bummer. Firebird's just leaving B site completely open. They had the advantage. No, I like what they were doing though at the start with that, uh, mm -hmm. with taking that space quickly. They got some quick picks out of it. It's what we say, like, every time we play on this map, it just I mean, a little bit more aggression. I do understand why it's scary with the rays and with the fade. Oaks oh, will be yeah. taken out after being able to get a quick shot. Rest of the Firebirds are falling quickly. Kaleoth and Slumdank, we know this story all too well. Hopefully it's got a different outcome this time around. Kaleo tags them for a little bit. Gets tagged himself. Slumnake now pushing from Hookah. Slumnake is seized here. A bank now pushing up through B long. We see smokes planted out. Pick there by Slumnank. Firebirds have to start the defuse and we'll see it. A bank though lands the shot. And wow. Sprays and praise Boom. the smoke. Oh, <laughs> all right. Firebirds take this one though. They take this one right now. I hope so. And then we invoke the curse. And then the curse is in effect. 
The secret six the secret member sauce. of the uh, bingo card. The secret six the member of the bingo card. <laughs> we gotta get that going, actually. I brought paper just for that occasion. <laughs> I brought paper so we can make the bingo card. For those who don't know, there are five things to get for the bingo card. We have Ace, Flawless, Team Ace, Clutch, and Thrifty. We have seen none so far. We've seen a Flawless. Oh, we did? We've seen a Flawless. It was on oh, the it was an Oh, dear. Nugget will get Kaylee off and Coney will trade away Nugget. Coney will get a rifle for his troubles. Line up Larry shoots out the Molly. Exactly where you are. You want to fight it. There goes the wall by Astra. That ultimate allowed them to get a lot of space last time, so it's gonna be tough for the Firebirds, especially when Handsome Man gets a quick pick like that. Mm hmm Slumdankle immediately traded away to bring the even numbers back. It's even scary about this wall is you can't hear what's happening on the other side. But now that wall is down. A-Bank waiting way far back. Cryotic trying to slow him down. Oh! oh. Not quite able to. Oh! There's the teammates, though. I'll take that for the bingo card. <laughs> Flawless and Team Ace. We are still missing the Ace, the Thrifty, and the Clutch. So far on that half, Firebirds took two rounds out of 12. First to 13 wins. Yes, we'll see what the Firebirds can try and conjure up on the second half here. Uh, they will be able to have Hoaxed making space for them to attack here, which is going to be great help. And I've just added our secret sixth to the bingo card. <laughs> the curse. <laughs> the evil curse. Firebirds here, trying to turn it around. They're down by eight. I'm going to say it, my favorite phrase. They've done more in less. They've done more in less amount of time. They can only give up two more rounds before it's match point. They're going to go for a quick execution, try and force those oh, people out of Puka. Wow. The immediate teleport rotation is going to take three of the five Firebirds out. That is completely unfortunate for the Firebirds. <laughs> The other two will be on B long. Just so Ooh. much aggression. Hey, oh Tony dear. Will get one, but Nugget almost there with the <laughs> ace. <laughs> Lakeland is going up 11 against two. But, you know, I got to give respect for Lakeland. They had those aggressive starts. Yes. They, it, they started with more aggressive. Uh, places for the fibers to have to use their util and work through and you love to see it at the start as well I mean we saw it on both attack and now defense side is that just a really aggressive start to try and get that uh, that econ up immediately so it Looks like four specters and a marshal will be brought to the table Ethan though is gonna start off quick Getting cryotic and hoaxed. Slumdank waiting out the smoke now. They are just loving these teleports. It's one of them. Kaleoff will get another. Now Kaleoff left in a tough spot. And the Firebirds are brought to match point here by the Muskies. It's never match over point. till it's over. And this is the round that the Firebirds, it's their best chance. They're going to be bringing rifles. We see four Vandals and one Phantom. Full shields against three specters a marshal and a classic now it's gonna be a tough spot for the firebirds i think they are going to be okay though let's hope it's never over till it's over yeah we are getting started your firebirds are gonna go for a full push down a main tony initiating with the body a little bit there Trying to peek on through, get his hands on Ethan. Firebird's trying to wait out the smoke. Ethan will teleport away and try and go for the flank, maybe, not quite. Firebirds are starting to take some space. It will be slowed down. They're stuck in this little hall right here. They're trying to make their way to lamps and hopefully to sight. 
They have not gotten a pick yet, and they've utilized a lot of util already. They got to worry about that Astra Star as they push through. And then it does remain left, so they have some time to work with. Hoax starts it off with a pick. They find Nugget. Soren will get Coney though, and Hoax will trade away for Soren. Hoax trying to step up here on attack. Spike the spike planted. will get down. We will see. Ethan though gets Slumdank, who's going for that lineup. A Bank now trying to uh, trying to notify his team. They're they're waiting in this little cubby. They immediately traded. A Bank now up top. Gonna be a tough 1v3 and the Firebirds, I think, have locked this down to be not done on round 14, 15. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Host will get four kills that round. There we go. We hear him <laughs> getting the hype out there. <laughs> We're in the Firebirds, not over quite yet. They are going to push toward B side, I believe, this time around. Oh, and looks like we're seeing an Ares for the Cypher for Lakeland. You don't see that every day. Well, you don't see a Cypher every day either, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see it, though. Firebirds are going to try the same tactic, this time also simultaneously pushing through showers. Tony has no rifle. The Firebirds get three rifles. They're going to look for a pick. There's the grenade. Kaleoff gets around it. Kaleoff hiding now. <laughs> Smoke's down. There's the smoke. Oaks able to swerve away from being blinded. Now we got Ethan. Now we got to worry about coming up on the flank. There's two cypher traps. There's the smoke. That actually works out, I think, in the Firebird's favor there. Nugget will get slumdank, though. I say this would have been a great opportunity for a rotate. We're seeing Fade sneak around. The Firebirds elect to push forward. Hoax now gonna meet Hanson Man. Soren will get Coney. Firebirds, it's not going well in terms of numbers for them. They will get two, though, Ooh. and three. Last one. And as I said, they turn oh. it around. Ethan oh, will try to it up and not allow two as we keep going in map number one. Oh, I knew that fade was going to be scary eventually. Slowly seeing that. And that's exactly what we needed to be doing on defense. Just that nice little flanking angle takes all that space away. They can't rotate, and it's... Really deadly. We almost lost that one. Absolutely. <laughs> Very Fire well done by Ethan. Finally starting to put something together here. A little bit of run of their own. Now that the uh, muskies have to save. Firebirds will have the complete economy advantage here. Moving into round number 17. Firebirds are looking to do pretty much the same thing. Some will we'll get spotted. Firebirds gonna try that rotation now this time around. Very smart of them. They've got them believing that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they're only gonna be finding one on B. And the rocket oh. will go off. Try and take that space. Oh, and there goes Hoax. Now trying to get away. Can't hear a thing do that due to that fade ultimate. It will oh. get one pick though with the alarm bot as the rest of the Firebirds try and set up positioning on site. Ethan on like one HP. Nugget using some great Whoa. satchels, but it's tracked down by Hoax. Come Caleb and Coney each get one. One more at the back of site. It's Ethan though. Tries to go for the knife, doesn't get it. Kaleo go. keeps it going. Firebirds move on once again. Double bingo sheet. <laughs> sure, we'll count on many. <laughs> Wow, really well done by the Firebirds. Great rotation on the side. It's unfortunate. I think that's um, the second time this match that the Ray's ultimate didn't work out for a uh, hoax. But yeah, no, I think one thing kill. is it at least was a deterrent this time around because mm -hmm. it allowed the Firebirds to take space because you can't repeat that angle when 
the rockets coming at you. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the this is the real test though on this round as the Firebirds are now going up against a Lakeland team that can full by. We're gonna see Hoax going for a little bit of a statue oh. play. Quickly goes in, can't ah. the pick. Does take the space though along the way and allows the Firebirds to make it to sight. Oh, Cryotic uh, finds two. Spike is planted, 45 seconds left on the clock. Firebirds have a numbers advantage here, and now Slumdank should be able to go for the lineup, and Cryotic really stepping up here. Abink's the only one left. Abink trying to go over to B-side. I'm not quite sure what the game plan here is. Might be trying to go for that quick rotate, or might just be trying to save the rifle. Uh, I do think it is just saving the rifle at Does this point. Does look like a save. <laughs> Let's try and figure that one out. And we now play the waiting game here <laughs> as the Firebirds get another round. They are going to make the uh, Lakeland uh, Muskies have to save one more time. Um, and then I think they will be able to full buy once again. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. As the spike goes off and the Firebirds technically cut that lead in half. Yeah. Firebirds putting a lot of pressure on Lakeland right now. This is what you like to see. Oh, oh and, and there goes the timeout. Timeout being called by Ethan. Very interesting thing about the Muskies. They don't quite have a active Valorant coach. So they have uh, Ethan as the captain and they kind of just pool together to think what's going wrong, how can we fix it, what adjustments need to be made. So I I'm interested to see how that works out because I think that would be really tough for me personally to try and come up with a completely new strategy as I'm going on just due to the fact that I'm in the game. I'm mm -hmm. always, I have my set game plan and I'm trying to run that through. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what adjustments can be made. If you were the coach of Lakeland right now, what do you think they're letting the Firebirds do too much of right? It's the same thing we've always been saying. Pacing and space, or space, spacing and pacing. Little spacing rhyme. and pacing, <laughs> like it. I like, I like it, yeah. That. You know, I mean, hey, if you got spacing and you got pacing, you're winning Valorant games. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're winning the Valorant games. Most definitely. I think that's the biggest thing for this, uh, for this game. And then just knowing... Uh, I've, I mean, they already know almost to perfection, like how the econ works and how everything else is. That's just the basics and the foundations, but knowing when to push, how to push, and just taking that space and taking that pace. We'll see That's if they can figure it out right here on round number 19. Firebirds currently down by six, though only a moment ago they were down by I believe 10. So we will uh, see what they can pull off as they're trying to speed this game up and keep oh, the pace no. theirs. It won't work out for them quite this time as A-Bank will get two picks. We might see the quick rotation now by Lakeland to try and get on site. They have one in the teleporter and the Firebirds now slowing it down, trying to reel it back in. They're gonna go through mid. Firebirds have to play for some picks now, Nugget. Almost gets spotted there by the Prowler. I just got a jump scare from the Slum Dank. Oh my gosh, Firebirds, if you just go to A side now, it's completely open. They do have to oh, run into dear. one. And oh, there's no. the shot. Oh no. Nugget gets two. Nugget does not get three. It is up to the captain now to clutch up hard. Ah. There's the thrifty. There's the thrifty. And the thrifty will end map number one here in favor of Lakeland. I think through the uh, the timeout period, I think the main thing that they were talking about is just that aggression, you know, is that right. that that's what got them into this. That's what gave them a big lead. And we saw just a great primary aggression from the Cypher. And oh, then hey, just we, bouncing we got off our of little, that. Uh, we got our little peak of the, of the lobby out <laughs> the there. The esports we got, lobby. We got the esports arena full. We got... In the far far end, that is Lakeland playing over there, and closer to our hand, uh, our left hand side, we have the Carthage Firebirds, and dispersed throughout the arena are the various fans in <laughs> attendance right now. Uh, so thank you all for coming in person, and thank you to all of you guys watching. We are going to take a short break before we head to map number two, which is Icebox, I believe, uh, and the Firebirds will be attacking first, you know, and the Firebirds pretty successful on Icebox, so I think we might see a tying series after map number two. We'll see you then.
Welcome back, Firebirds. We're getting started here on map number two of the NECC Midwest Emergent Championship here. We got the Carthage Firebirds down 0-1 right now to the Lakeland University Muskies. We are heading on to Icebox now. They just lost, I believe it was 13-6 on bind there to start it off. Uh, for the Firebirds, though, they will make a substitution. Instead of Cryotic, we will have Happy Samoyed coming in. And you might see a bit of a mirrored image here going on here in terms of uh, compositions for the team. There is one difference, and it's that the Firebirds will be playing Chamber instead of a Duelist. And Lakeland will be playing... Oh, we got some noise going with the Ooh. crowd out there. And Lakeland will be playing with Jet. Jet will be very useful on this map in terms of uh, utilizing the different elevations that occur on A site, mm -hmm. specifically like that ledge right there, uh, as well as the box in the middle as well as back of sight. Um, but Chamber will be very good at taking those off angles to start off around on defense or on offense and quick rotations. So being able to control more of the map. So we'll see which one comes in more handy for the Firebirds or the Muskies here as we go into map number one. We will see a full push down B long by the Muskies. To, I mean, by the Firebirds to start it off. Sorry, Firebirds were on defense first last time. This time the Firebirds are attacking first. And Mr. Blunt in chat, the score right now is 1-0 in favor of the Lakeland Muskies. Uh, they took map number one, and then we are 0-0 right now on map number two, Icebox, as the Firebirds fall down probably 0-1 in just a couple seconds here, unless Coney really decides to clutch up. Oh, yeah, we're going to see a Coney clutch. I can feel it. Oh, Coney clutch right here? Coney clutch? Not quite able to hit that shot. It might come in a couple seconds. He does have spike. He could go all the way to A. So 1v3, it's not impossible, but on 40 HP, it's going to be tough. All right, and he runs away from the uh, <laughs> from the dart now. There's no one left to worry about. It's one. Oh, running out of bullets, not quite able to get two there. As the Firebirds will fall 0-1. And there's the MLG air horn about it. I didn't know that was a spray in the game. Very fun. <laughs> As Nugget starts it off for Lakeland here. Firebirds. Cool knife skin, too. Hey, you know, that's actually the knife I run. Uh, so I'm not saying Nugget got you all paid money from me. I did. I did pay money in this game. I gotta pay money. I, I... I've, I've paid money a couple times in this game. <laughs> I, I'm not good enough at it for it to be worth it, but I have But done it, it sure does look cool. Sure does look cool. Oh, and this time looks like the Firebirds are going to be pushing mid. Yeah, they will be pushing up through middle, not quite into tube. And now here we go. Ethan will start it off and get Kaylee off. Oh, Nugget, though, here. Reigns supreme in terms of the midfield battle. And the Firebirds will be swiftly <laughs> dealt with. <laughs> in round number two. We fight once again. And we see another MLG uh, <laughs> gun. Yeah, but that's really good aggression uh, from Lakeland. Especially by... Uh, who was it again? Nugget? Yeah, there no, we go. There, I was like, yeah. I was like yes. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <laughs> oh, in the chat, we got a first time chatter. OMG, is that Tanner? Oh my gosh, stop my fans. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> Tanner and Toner commentating for you tonight. Trying to finish off our Valorant season. We've been commentating them for about two months now. Toner's been at every match. I've oh, missed yeah, one yeah. due to an audition. Uh, that did go well, so worth. <laughs> so worth. This is going to be an awesome play, too. Here. I'm very excited for it at the <laughs> end of January. Firebirds, I like this. They're switching it up. They're going for that default. Just going to play for information. Get those Lakeland Muskies on their toes for a little bit. Get them second-guessing themselves. All right, Firebirds now moving toward B site. They will get the plant down, and there's the sage wall. Firebirds able to get the plant down. This is exactly the position they want to be in right now. 
Lakeland is on their bonus round, so this should be the Firebirds round to lose. Hoax will get Nuggets to start it off, and, and see a Nugget off the board? Yeah. That's already making me feel a little better about the round. Ethan will get Coney, though. Hoax now trying to trying to just win some aim duels here. Happy Samoyed will get one. There is the uh, fire. Someone's still defusing. They're still defusing. We got to stop the defusal. Oh, no. Spike well, will get defused even when the defenders completely annihilate the other team there. Firebirds lose that round, but keep all their weapons. I, uh... Well, on the on a positive note, uh, Firebirds only had one death, so they get to keep their guns. Um, true. And they did kill all of uh, all of Lakeland, but still, this is gonna be tough. Nugget does have op. All right, we'll see what happens with Nugget using that op to hold down a site. Waiting on top of the uh, barrier there. Firebirds won't be pushing that way though, so it'll be a bank that they run into. Happy Samoyed. Gonna try and flank a little bit. Hoax starts it off with first blood, Sage on Sage. And now the Firebirds push up through B. Coney now waiting mid, just waiting to see if anyone will peek. Stay, oh. stay patient, stay patient. Oh. Oh. Doesn't quite get it as Soren wins that uh, that duel though. Slumdank able to run away. Should be able to get in the lineup spot. Very interesting. Slumdank is playing Viper right now, and I thought they usually play. Uh, I thought that they usually play. Uh, what is it? A Brimstone on this map. Uh, on on Icebox? Yeah, I thought they usually played. Uh, I could be completely wrong. I think they just did it once. I think I think once. I, oh dear, Soren popping oh, off wow. now. It's now up to Happy Samoyed, left in a tough spot, oh. and Nugget will finish it off, stealing the ace away. <laughs> was there enough time? There was, yes. and the Firebirds will go down by four once again to start it off. Oh, this is this is scary. They would probably call a timeout pretty soon. Pros don't fake, I see in the chat. That is, that's from the, the round where they diffused. That's facts. Pros don't fake. And they were able to get it off in that round. We will see the timeout, though, being called by Coach Wes here. Uh, interesting. Coach Wes, you know, uh, really is more into Rainbow Six Siege. So it's always interesting to see how those strategies can be applied to Valorant. Uh, it's also interesting to worth note now that Happy Samoyed is in the game. Happy Samoyed likes to uh, utilize a lot of CSGO tactics mm -hmm. uh, as they, they were, I believe, almost global elite in CSGO, <laughs> which is a very high rank for those of you uh, unfamiliar with the game. It's 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 like, I believe, the highest, right? Is global elite in CSGO? It's it's been a minute since That's I've fair. played. I've, I've never personally played, <laughs> but it is it definitely is interesting. I mean, I come from R six, and uh, you know, just trying to play this game. There's some tactics that I like using that aren't usually meta in this, and they they work out sometimes. Sometimes, but I mean, just getting the broad span of CS:GO, Valorant, and R six, bringing them all together, it it does create a deadly combo. So hopefully, we can see that there's just been a lot of primary aggression from Lakeland side. So Firebirds, ah, I really yeah, think that they I should think default the Firebirds a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, I think defaulting is when they had the most success. So I think they shouldn't be pushing too hard. They should wait for Lakeland to try. That's a great one way by Soren there. Soren seems to be a little bit of a lineup Larry himself, much like our Slumdank. We'll see the Firebirds now trying to push a site. They're taking it slowly. They're giving a lot of time for flanking, though. See Soren start to peek through middle. Coney will be the one waiting. Coney waiting. Just gonna wait and see if anyone peeks. Coney now going up through tube. Nugget will get the first pick on Happy Samoyed using that operator. Firebirds will be hesitant to keep pushing now. Slumdank slowed down by the Sage Util. It's gonna buy a lot of time for rotations. Coney, though, has worked his way all the way to the back of to the back Ooh. of the map and now has their ultimate the tour de force we'll see how it could be used what a wonderful name oh and kaleoth just barely dodges the op shot there 
Doran will get Slumdank on the rotation there. Hoaxed trades out Nugget. The operator is down. We'll see if it's if it gets picked up. Hoax does have the opportunity to res his teammate on this backfield here. 30 seconds remain. Coney out here just following Soren. We'll get oh, Soren wow. and take him down. B site is completely clear. And as well as taking that, uh, the ultimate down, what a great shot. <laughs> great lurking there by Coney to get a couple of picks. Hoax now waiting for anyone to rotate on in. Great space taking by Host. Firebirds are in a good spot to win this round. They will get one. He sees oh. the gun. He sees the gun. Oh. It's past it. And makes him run away. They, they might try to save that operator, but Hoax doesn't want that. And Hoax draws oh. out another shot as Ethan... Ethan on Ethan action here is going crazy. Oh! Ethan will win that one for Lakeland, but ultimately the Firebirds should be in a spot to win their first round of the map. Thanks to the efforts by Coney to lurk through mid and stay undetected and get a couple picks along the way. Yeah, we, we love to see it when, when that happens. Just a good old flank. Oh! There's another thrifty for us. We got two flawless, two thrifties, and a team ace here. We got two bingo cards running. Having a great day. <laughs> yeah, I say, I, I say the same thing should be done again for the Firebirds. They're a little bit messy starting up, uh, uh, starting half the round, but it turned out to be a really good opportunity for them. Yeah, I, th I think slowing it down really is the answer here. Uh, and having someone lurk like Coney or maybe even uh, Happy Samoyed lurk a little bit. Primarily Coney, though, uh, with that uh, chamber roll. Hoax does a nice job of not giving up any information there. I believe that that jet did get marked. I think so. There they are. We will see Handsome Man using their ultimate, though. And immediately being taken out by Kaylee off there. Nugget has their ultimate at the ready. Happy Samoyed gets another. I mean, finishes off Handsome Man there. Oh, Nugget wow. in a great spot. I've never seen that angle used here. Wow. Firebirds will get the plant down with all members still alive. 45 seconds is on the clock. Slumdank heading to the lineup spot. Has to watch the flank. <laughs> so there's no one coming for him that way. He's just waiting to see if any heads will peek on through there. There's Jet running through. Nugget gets one and is immediately taken out. There's two there. Oh! oh by Hoaxed. Using one as a wall bang and to get two and finish off the round for the Firebirds. And Sage is hiding behind the wall. <laughs> oh. They do save that operator one more time, though. Come on, Coney. Look to your left. Oh! oh! Oh my gosh, almost gets God, the headshot. Come on. Run, run, run. Oh, can't quite get it. We head into round number seven. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was a fun little cat and mouse game there. <laughs> Tell you what, I've, I've seen I've seen quite a few people, and I've seen two other Lakeland members try to use the op, and I, I think I think we just leave that to Nugget. I think we just leave the op in the hands of Nugget. I think A-Bing should hand that one on over, give it to the professional. <laughs> oh, it's weird. <laughs> Seen just a few too many misses there on, on the op shots. Yeah, this time looks like Lakeland will be saving, so Firebird's around to lose. Hoax does take a little bit of damage. It's going to heal up really quickly. Handsome Ooh. Man gets Coney, catches Coney lurking there, and immediately falls back. That's great positioning there by Handsome Man. Happy Samoy does get Soren, though. The controller is down. That's going to be of great use when trying to take a sight. Happy Samoy gets another one there, and we're gonna res, res Coney to really try and ensure this one. We see the ultimate being used by Lakeland Sova, and oh. Abing there does land a shot. Eat my words, I will. I know, I was just uh, about to say that. <laughs> I'll eat my words there. I'll take it. I had to draw it out of him. Nugget is hit there and will be tracked down. There's the ultimate as the Firebirds, I think, are gonna have their first plant on A of the of the of the night so far. And Spike is planted. 45 seconds is in favor for the Firebirds. Numbers are also in favor of the Firebirds. I believe they also have the gun advantage. Oh my oh! gosh, and another pick by Hoaxed. 
Pokes Kicker ah. 2 is aiming once again just living to prove me wrong right now. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Samoid is able to suppress one. Now gonna probably play for that CSGO pop flash. Doesn't quite work out. Firebirds can play around the wonderful power of the Viper's Pit though. Which actually, uh, interestingly enough, Slumneck elects to just take down. And that should be enough time for Happy Samoy to skedaddle on out of there. And Ethan will go down. And finally, the operator's out of play. <laughs> the operator is out of play. However, we did take serious losses uh, in that round. And it looks like a timeout will be initialized by Ethan. So there we have. We've got some applause going. I like hearing the crowd every time. Every time some sort of <laughs> momentum shift happens here. We got Ethan now calling the timeout for his team. What do you think has changed? Same thing we always say. Spacing and pacing. Spacing and pacing. It's, it's all about who's going to control that momentum. What do you think Lakeland has done, though, to lose that momentum that the Firebirds have started to exploit? I think mainly just the primary aggression. I I mean, with Jed having an operator, I, it, it just uh, they're going to be playing a more passive role of just holding that off angle. And I think the tactic of giving it to someone else is just so Jed is free to roam. Jed will be That's free to true. roam around. Uh, just got taken out a little bit too early. And, and same thing, they've been trying to uh, put some aggression in mid. We saw the last round, um, the KO going down mid, and it did shut down, I believe, I think it was Kaleoth. There might have been... Coney. Coney. Oh, it was Coney. It was Coney. <laughs> and they got resurrected quickly by Hoax. But, yeah, I think just a... Uh, oh, my gosh. I didn't ooh. even look at the KD hoax going crazy. Wow. Ten kills, <laughs> five deaths, one assist. You know, battle battle sages. Battle sage. It's like a battle mercy in Overwatch. <laughs> They're awesome. You know, is that the healers are the most deadliest uh, agents in the game. Hoax here now going to start it off with a quick slow orb. Nugget is waiting up top there. We'll see what they can do. Oh! oh that aim duel. They try and get Nugget. Nugget gets away. Oh, no. Oh, with the util out is hoaxed. All tied up now. 3-3. Three, three. Handsome man now waiting up top there. Oh! Slumdank will finish off the plant there. On the biggest edge you can. A-Bink in the flank. Oh, Slumdank, you're going to get oh. caught there. As now it's up to... Now it's just up to Coney. Coney in a tough spot. Has ah. to get aggressive and doesn't quite work out. Firebirds will fail that round, and the scoreline will be 5-3 to three in favor of Lakeland. That's all right. We do have some econ to buy for uh, next round, so doesn't put us in the worst position, but still a little bit unfortunate. We'll see the Firebirds now uh, going for maybe a default. I'm calling a default. Uh, default. I want to default, so I want to hey, see a default. There it is. Oh, oh are we spreading out? Are we spreading out? Are we spreading out? Game plan? Oh, the bomb's let down. I think we might be seeing a default. I think I think old uh, Flair called that one right there. <laughs> yep, and it's a default. Let's go. So good at my job. So good at my job. Let's go. Firebirds playing for that default split push. Playing for info. Trying to not get shot through the smoke. And I think maybe you bring like your tarot cards and something just to read the future <laughs> for like what they're doing. It's kind of scary. Oh, uh, whoa. Nugget though gets the immediate headshot on hoax. Coney gets a bank though. <laughs> Old Sage is out of commission. Slumneck moving up through tube and kitchen along with Coney. They're going to run into Soren. And they will immediately eradicate Soren there. Slumdank waiting for anyone else to rotate. Slowing them all down. Firebirds are going to plant bomb on B site successfully. 45 seconds. Those spikes get blown up. Kaleo does have their ultimate. And same with KO. See if Slumdank runs into anyone. Firebirds are going to have an attack from the both the front and back. There is the... E fuse going on. They don't even get it half. Oh, nice oh. shot there by Happy Samoyed and Coney. 
to bring it down to one left. Wow. One neck will finish it. Firebirds bring it within one once again. That's what we love to see. That was awesome. <laughs> Great execution there by the Firebirds on that default. They just were able to take so many off angles. Yeah. And it, it, I, I think that might be the key moving forward here. That's the R6 strategy. Is it? Getting, you know, you know, getting to the backside, doing the sandwich. Sandwiching them right on in it. That was really well done. Great ultimate by Kaleoth. Hopefully we can see more of that again. KO still has their ultimate, and it looks like for Lakeland, Sage and KO both have their ultimates at the ready. So let's see how that'll play out. Looks like Firebirds are going for A side, and Slum Dink's just chilling over by B. Gets that Sage out of commission. Hoax now, just gonna peek and just make sure that uh, Hoax does Hoax really scared to get immediately headshot once again. <laughs> uh, trying to stay alive for his team, play that supporting role. Firebirds up in the numbers right now. It's their round to lose. Right here. Top Went on a little mission to rotate over to B, and it looks like Late Lin is gonna also follow along. We will see the ultimate from Happy Samoyed. Kony takes out Soren and Hoax will get Ethan. One enemy remaining. Hoax now gets Hanson, man. One more to beat. Firebirds have Spike planted. Hoax trying to heal up Kony. Gets that off. And now it's up to Nugget. The 1v5. Can Nugget ace this one? Gets the one. one. Dinks. <laughs> we'll see if they get two. It's that two. Though. Not three, though, as Happy Samoyed will put an end to it as the Firebirds tie it up five to five. But that was super cool. Was I won't that lie. If, cool. any, if there was anyone on that team I was worried about actually finishing that ace, it was Nugget. Yeah. So, <laughs> Nugget going 12 and 7 right now. It's the Nugget and Hoax show right now. 12 and 7 and 13 and 8 as we move into round number 11 here. Here's the tiebreaker. Oh, this is going to be scary. Five seconds. Three, two. Showtime, baby, as we <laughs> head into uh, round 11 here. Firebirds seem to be going for a split push of A. I think that the most advantageous thing for them would have someone lurking mid. Unless they play this really, really quickly. Most of sight is clear. The very back is the problem. Ethan will get Coney. We will see the lineups from Soren coming out, just trying to slow them all down. Looks like they're going to be backing up. Hoax is going to try and take a little bit of an off angle and elects to actually fall back with the rest of the team. Firebird's down in the numbers game. Ooh, at this point, I would just run back. Ah, uh, yeah, I was going to say, maybe fake the rotate. Oh, and there, now they've been detected, so now yeah. everyone on the team is going to start rotating. Firebird's going to try and execute B-side with only four people. Will be a tough oh, one. Whoa, oh, my gosh, gosh Sage it way up there. up there. Oh, yeah, Hoax sees him now. There's the shot. There's A-Bink falls to Hoax once again. Oh, but Hoax does have their ultimate, so... Let's see if Host is gonna res. Seconds left. Oh! Get the pick on Handsome Man there. And the Firebirds are okay <laughs> once again. As we run on back. They're running A's a little side. bit of a marathon. Kaleoth and Slumneck will run into Soren in just a moment. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. As down goes the smoke and there's oh. no shot on Soren. The ultimate goes off, uh, and it's all for naught here. <laughs> as Nugget will get, I mean, Soren will get the defuse off of the pick from Nugget. Oh, this is a very exciting. Oh, another team ace. Three bingo cards at the ready. Last round before the switch. <laughs> we still need a clutch and an ace. This is a very exciting second map. I. Uh, I'm hoping it gets all tied up at 6-6. Six, six. Uh, it would be a fun one uh, to see heading to the defensive half for the Firebirds. Firebirds here able to fall by. Both sides able to fall by. So we're going to see uh, everyone. Everyone at their best going into this one. <laughs> and here we go. Play, let's play. We'll see Coney using their ultimate. 
Kaleoth will be suppressed. Firebird's going for that split default here. Tony using the ultimate up through tube. Won't find anyone in the kitchen as Soren will deny access to B. Oh. Hansen, uh, Hansen man able to take out Slumdank there. See if Hoax can get there for the res. That's the key there. Is Hoax has to res. Hoax should be able to make it for that res. Revealing area. Yup, there it is. Firebird's back at full strength. Oh, and Hoax oh. saves the life of Slumdank there with the resurrection and the pick. 50 seconds left and it's all tied up 4-4. Kony does go down though. A bank there waiting on the side. Oh, Firebirds, make sure you check all your angles. Oh, there's no. two. There's three. There's four Almost. by Nugget there as 7-5. Great job by A bank. As we switch sides and send ourselves to the second half. Decent half. That was really well done by A Bank, just hiding in the corner. <laughs> I mean, with all the rotations that the Firebirds do, this uh, that was a really good spot for punishing them. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a great play there by A Bank, staying patient too with the headshot, waiting until there was a greater chance for more people to uh, fly on through. Overall, just nice shots, nice shots there. Firebirds down by two. They got to bring him back on the defensive half. So we'll see what they can throw together here. Hoaxed, a positive KD of five. Nugget with a positive KD of seven. Everyone else just about even or maybe a plus one or two. Really, it's the battle between how many picks can Nugget get Ooh. versus Hoaxed. The immediate, they ping five in mid. Hoaxed not able to get anyone there as A-Bink will get Coney. There's that initial aggression we see. Every single half. Oh, there's one. Happy Samoyed gets one back for the Firebirds, slowing them down. Oh, and Kaleoff can't get one as Soren will get that. Oh, but a lot of them are low. Slumdank and Happy Samoyed using that CSGO pop flash. One enemy remaining. Slumdank gets one, and the last one is on one HP, so it'll be a tough one for the Firebirds. Oh, they're playing for lineups. You got to start this one quick. Got to start this one quick. Oh, no, they have a lineup, Larry, too. That's okay. They're they looking at the fourth they should, pixel then. <laughs> they should be able to half it. They should be able to half it. Happy Samoy gets the shot. Slumdank should be able to half it. They do. And they will finish it off because the second snake there bite couldn't come through. Firebirds bring it within one. Lineup Larry's on both sides. <laughs> I know players, man. I, I, if that's what it takes to make it to the finals, start taking notes here. You know, I wonder how well they must do in uh, geometry class. Like some dink and it's gotta be, it's gotta be well. It's oh, I know. Well. There's no way it's anything less than well in geometry. I know. I... Some would even dare to say excellent in <laughs> geometry. <laughs> you know, I would dare to say they got A's. I mean, for these lineups, you know, they take out their old, uh, oh, what do you call that? Um, Protractor. Protractor and what's the uh the compass? Uh, I, was, I can't remember it. This is why I'm not in geometry. I lean it up to the lineups. <laughs> we are seeing a very speedy attack by Lakeland here on A site. Oh! Out for them though as Kaleoff gets one and two. Happy Samoy tries and get one. Gets the pick and the spike is down and finished it off is Happy Samoy. Firebirds tie it up at seven. That's what we love to see. <laughs> you know, Lakeland tried to just throw that pace off, get the speedy attack going. Firebird stayed calm and ready though. Hit their shots with accuracy and now we got a tie ball game here. I don't say ball game like it's Rocket League, or another <laughs> sport here. Tied up a uh, tactical shooter. <laughs> As we've got 7-7, seven, seven, Firebird's able to full buy Lakeland, I mean not Firebird's, uh, Lakeland able to full buy Firebird's here on a bit of a half buy. So we'll see what they can make of this situation here. They're gonna have to play a little bit of off angles, a little bit of rattier tactics, but ultimately I think they're gonna be able to pull something off here. Coney waiting down long. He's not going to find anyone. We're seeing Lakeland go for a bit of a default. Uh, we will have four people stacking on A and one person going toward B long here. Hanson man trying to initiate here. Yeah, the rest of the Firebirds starting to be heavier toward A thanks to that util dump. 
Nugget suppressed. They are slowed down now. And the Firebirds all rotate to A. We'll see Nugget trying to find a shot on Happy Samoyed and gets it. Slumdeck will get the man. Spike planted. That's a lot of vision being caused. What a great recon dart by Kaleoff and allows for two picks here. Kaleoff starts the defusal. He's going to fall off of that as Ethan gets Coney. Ethan has one more to get. And there's the wall there as the Firebirds should be able to defuse this unless Soren can do something Whoa. about it. Coming back, but it doesn't matter. Oh. Ghost gets the pick anyway. Firebirds take their first lead of the night. <laughs> Oh, we, see, we hear some cheers. Oh, yeah, my Sumi, you're watching the Carthage Esports stream. I don't, I don't really know what you want from me. I do have a very clear and heavy bias. <laughs> I will say it with my whole chest. Hey. I mean, hey, if I see an ace at a nugget, I'll, I'll be impressed by that ace. You'll, you'll hear the hype. <laughs> hype moments deserve hype moments. It's just, I have a bias. It's, do you see behind me right now? It's, a, it's the Firebirds. Car Carthage Esports is what it says. It it's that's what you signed up for when you tuned in here. <laughs> a timeout will be initiated by Soren for for Lakeland. Um, Actually, I have my Sumi on the uh, roster for uh, for Lakeland in my oh! in my notes here. Just must not have traveled with them today. Uh, or maybe they're maybe they're here just. Or maybe, yeah, maybe maybe they're just here watching. I I think so. Well. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I have their well, name down right here. Hi, if you're here. <laughs> hi, hi if you're not. not. Oh yeah, it's time out. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so what what do, what does Lakeland need to do here? Oh, I guess if I gotta play favorites toward Lakeland right now, I would say the one thing that they've really got to start focusing on is that lurker role. They did it really well in map number one. Yeah. Uh, they had the one lurker. Just kind of going through and making sure that there was an off angle. See, they've got Soren kind of lurking right now. Uh, but I think it needs to be more speedy. I think that lurker needs to have a little more speed. Because Soren was able to get there, but just not quite in the nick of time. So I think if they have that lurker creating pressure on different po parts of the map, it's gonna allow for the fire. It's gonna allow for Lakeland to uh rotate. Not rotate quicker. What am I trying to say? It's going to allow for the Firebirds to have to anchor sites more and be worried about the transfers here. Your picks can taken out and a heal goes up for Happy Samoid. Slumneck gets A bank there. Firebirds up in the numbers right now, trying to take a two round lead as Ethan still on B main. The spike is left all the way in spawn, so the Firebirds are going to go there. Oh, I think the Fire Bandits. Yeah, they see it, and I think Kaleoth is gonna set himself up in a hoax with a nice place. flick there onto Soren. And now it's just Ethan left. Ethan's trying to uh, swerve on around. Left. <laughs> oh, the spike's there. It's, it's like a booby trap. <laughs> There's the recon Ooh. dart. Ooh, is just barely able to dodge being seen by it. 13 seconds left, it doesn't be done in picks. Oh! And Kaleoth will finish it off as the Firebirds go up nine to seven. Twin brother takes out twin brother. This is a really eventful match. I am yeah, so excited. An, uh, <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better finals matchup. One, I'm just excited that it is not the number one and the number two seed going at each other right now. We have the number three and the number five seed at it right now. Oh, you Showing love that, you know, it really comes down to who shows up during playoffs. And these teams are showing up right now. Most definitely. <laughs> we head into round number 17 here as the Firebirds will have a spread. Does seem like Coney might take a bit of a more aggressive angle. I'm excited to see Ooh. that. I would have shot that dart instead of just immediately teleporting away. But either way, it's a safe option there for Coney. Hoaxed is going to block off that easy plant. Oh, no. Can't quit. Excuse me, get the pick on Nugget though. We'll get some health taken off. And Abing should be able to heal them. And the plant goes out. Spike is planted. 45 seconds is on the clock for the Firebirds to defuse. 
They do have the even numbers now as Kaleoth is lurking in that top lane. Oh, Slumdink used their ultimate. Oh, was that Slumdink? I thought it was the opposing Viper. We oh, jeez, oh, as we got the late <laughs> pass over. Firing on all cylinders. Handsome Man will get Coney. They just need to defend the longer. Nugget gets one. Firebird's down to two left. They tap it again. <laughs> Happy Samoyed gets wow. the Wow! Slumdang tries to defuse. Time's running out, though, for the Firebirds. Gotta stick Player it. Standing. And it will be an L for the Firebirds, though I believe ah. everyone should die. Slumdank will fall. Soren will actually make it out. And Lakeland brings it within one. Yeah, nothing. Ah. Oh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Were you reading chat? I was reading chat. Thank you, Hob. Who's Hob Skitty? Is that? Is that I, I am not. I... I hope it's not because I I don't know just off the username who Hobbs Kitty is, but thank you. You're too sweet to us. We just try to provide good content. Biased content, but good content. Because <laughs> <laughs> the Firebirds are up by one here. Who bought the operator? I heard it. I heard this. I heard the gun sound. Ah, uh, it's Tony that bought the operator here. We will see the ultimate being used by the opposing KO there. Oh! Hanson Man immediately taken out off of the top flash attempt. Hope's probably going to finish that one off. Soren waiting oh, for the no. flankers. Oh, no. Immediately oh! taken out by Slumdank, who is ready first. Hoax gets Hanson Man finished off. Oh! Great headshot. Oh! Crosshair placement. Placement was immaculate by the Firebirds that round as they finish that one up flawless. That was a wow. <laughs> Is that four? Oh, oh Slum Dank spam. All right, cool. Oh, let's go. Big dubs, big dubs. That's We're awesome. fist pumping right now. You can't see it. We're fist pumping. Slum Dank told me that uh, you got a few new cats, and I saw the pictures. That is so awesome. They, they're so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Eight and ten right now in favor of the Firebirds. The Lakeland could bring it back at any moment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get some positivity. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I'm not being called out for too much bias. <laughs> oh, Tony tries to fire. Somehow doesn't find anyone in that uh in that smoke. Ethan is now viewed with the uh, tracer. Happy That's smoke, a happy smoke one. Like a nugget. Soren will get the trade. Slumdank gets handsome, man. Ethan gets Slumdank. Trade after trade after trade, as we have a battle going on in the midfield. Whoa. Uh oh, that's oh! what we're running into. Hoax will get one, can't track down two, as now it's up to Kaleoth and Coney here, as both of them, as uh, both of their opponents are on quite low health. And Spike will be planted. 45 seconds is on the clock. Oh, oh, Cody wow. the Hunter immediately. Follow up shot. That is why they are changing the uh, accuracy of second <laughs> shot. And A Bank will get Kaylee out, so it's a 1v1 now. Just gotta tap it. Tap it. And peek. Has to force that peek. Oh, oh A Bank with great patience. Doesn't hit the shot. Oh, there by A. -Bank. Wow. Goes on the bingo sheet. One more left, and it is an ace. Very great patience there by A. Bank to wait out Coney. Tough shot for Coney to miss. It does bring us our first clutch of the series, though. And you know, since it's the best of five, I do have a. I, I do think we are gonna finish our bingo card. <laughs> I do hope so. I hope not. Not just one though. All right, Firebirds still up by one here. Trying to keep it from being tied up, though. This is the chance for that momentum shift <laughs> if you're Lakeland. And Lakeland in the chat saying big brain time. That was pretty impressive. Oaks now waiting in mid, seeing if anyone will get caught there. It seems like Lakeland is going to five stack. Four stack. Oh, e, what a oh. shot there by Coney on Nugget. That's the one you want to get if you're starting <laughs> off a round. He wanted a little bit of redemption from the last one. Oaks immediately out of there. Oh, oh and Nugget's <laughs> right back in it with A Bank. 
Oh, very smart of Coney. There goes the walls. Oh, snap! Oh, oh, and Coney gets nugget again! <laughs> just not stopping him! Oh, and Coney just can't quite read through that smoke this time. The bubble gun is out by Happy Samoyed. Firebirds and muskies all trying to just spray and Whoa! Play. The spray and play through the snow goes in favor of the Firebirds as they bring down the Viper's Pit. We will now see the flash go out. Oh! Bank is flashed and taken out. Now it's just up to Ethan, who does not have alt and has to swing this. Otherwise, Slumdank will finish the defusal. And oh my Slumdank goodness. Does. <laughs> Though I have to give it to Ethan there. Yeah. Did make it quite troublesome for the Firebirds. And gets taken out very quickly. As Firebirds are up 11 to nine. This is a very exciting ice box. Firebirds are up 11 to 9 right now. Oh, and let's, let's look at the scoreboard so far. Happy Smoid 24. Where did Happy Smoid <laughs> come from? 24 and 12. Hoax 19, 14. Slum Tank 13 and 10. Coney 12 and 15. And Kaleoth 9 and 12. And for Lakeland, Nugget in 19, 16. A Bink 13, 15. Hanson Man 12 and 17. Ethan 11 and 14. And Soren at 8 and 15. This is really fun we will see another coney alt in use right now watching down mid for any rotations hoax is about to run into uh soren here on the rotation oh dear peek your angle peek your angle you see the gun oh gets the pick there <laughs> great headshot placement nugget will get slum dank though so both controllers are out of play oh but happy <laughs> some boy falls to hansen man there Kaylee off trying to go for the shock dart plays. Might get Hanson Man for his troubles. Almost. There's the reveal. Shows one of them, shows two of them. Gets That's one. one. Cody oh. gets another. Firebird's in a tough spot though. Ethan, really in a great spot. To try and opt that, they are able to have it. That half is gonna be great. Coney does fall though. Oh, now goes, goes hoax. It's right. up to Kaleoff, who has to finish it off. Oh, and he might have the oh, chance. Come on. The shot start doesn't yeah. hit, and the Firebirds bring it to map points. Second clutch of the night. The bingo cards are getting filled up. Bingo card is getting filled up. We're just waiting for that ace. But with how skilled each of these teams are, it's gonna be a tough one to see. This is gonna be really exciting. Who do you think has the contention of getting it? At, for me, uh, Nuggets, Let's see. Nuggets I think up. Nuggets, Nuggets going to be one. There. Nuggets got that ace potential. And I think Happy Samoyed and Hoax as well. I, I don't really think it'll be Happy Samoyed. I think Happy Samoyed. Hey, no. No, I just think of it in the more of a... The bubble gun. <laughs> you want to hear the bubble I wanna gun? I want to hear the bubble gun. <laughs> All right, fine. Happy Samoyed in there. I just personally, due to his util usage, that really helps his team. He plays oh, a lot dear. for his team to get picks. That is an operator on the ground for Nugget to go grab off of Coney, though. Everyone says the last round is always the hardest one to win. Oh, Hoax brings Coney on back, though, as the Firebirds now are back to five. Hanson Man pushes through Kitchen. Sneaky, no one sneaky. finds him yet. Very sneaky here. We do have the ultimate being used by Slumdank on A just to kind of stop him. Oh. Hoax stops Hanson Man right in his tracks. 55 seconds. Slum Dink just chilling on A site. We're seeing the wait now in A site, as that's where they're going to attempt to go. They're going to try and go through the Viper's Pit. It's going to be a tough one. What an incredibly Ooh. useful ult. And Slum Dink just slithering up. around there. The snake he is. Waiting for Nugget. Three left to go here, as the Firebirds still have all five. Oh, Firebirds. You hear them? Slumdink have oh. the spike planting, and they will get two picks there. Very nice job by Lakeland. Try and get that peek, and they get the pick. Kaleoff gets one. There's two left. It's a 2v3. 
A bank trying to get on out of there. Oni has to oh! get quick follow up. Soren does it. The defusal starts. And there's another pick by A bank. We might have to see another round here. We will. As Lakeland keeps it going. Wicked, wicked. 12 and 10 so far in favor of the Firebirds. Second match point. Second match bingo point card. here. Yeah, bingo card. I got all my oh, we, notes we, going. Let, let's see an ace. Let's see an you ace. You think an ace is going to end it off? We, we got to get more than just one bingo card filled out. We got to see an ace of one of these rounds. All right, here it goes. Firebirds setting oh. up with a full five-man spread across the map. Firebirds saving this round. Firebirds have two more rounds, to, one more round to play with before they have to win unless overtime gets invoked. Hoaxed waiting up there with the shorty. Everyone playing very slow and controlled this time around. Mm -hmm. This is... Coney with quite the rat angle. Oh. Doesn't quite land the shot and is able to just barely <laughs> back step away. Oh, that one was scary. Does a little dancey dance out. Slumdank waiting with the stinger now. Oh! Slumdank had the first headshot, but the gun game overall from Ethan wins that one. One Firebird is down, one is a little bit low. Hoaxed 45 seconds it. left. Uh, it's tough for Hoaxed now. They're gonna they're gonna have a general idea of where to look for Hoaxed. Oh! Can't quite get it as Hanson Man will take that one. We will now see the ultimate from KO. 30 seconds moving left. on to site. Coney now, his turn with the shorty to make something happen. It's raised Whoa! up on the wall. The spike's being planted. Oh! No, it's not anymore. Down, it's being planted again. And it will go down this time. Planted. Now happy it's just Samoy happy to watch. Stinger left. Four people to beat. All the util. <laughs> happy Smoy just chilling in the corner. All right, we're just waiting it out. I think he's just going to wait and see if anyone tries to rotate out of this <laughs> one, try and get a pick and make sure that they don't have guns for the next round. Firebirds, I think I think they're playing for next round right now. They are the, this is the this is the one. Beep. beep. And there, there's the beeps. That goes off and yeah. round <laughs> goes in favor of Lakeland. They need one more to force overtime. <laughs> Happy Samoyed makes sure to die to make sure to get that extra bonus from death because you do actually get more money for dying. Who's, I, who's thinking economically? We will see it right here. Timeout called by Coach West. This is where you want to do it if you're the Firebirds. What's the strategy? Read their minds. What you got for me? I got... They're going to vote to change the map. Okay, okay. That's a good start. A good to start. nuke. To nuke town, USA. No. We're going all the way to COD. No. No, all right. We're backtracking CS. out of COD just to see us. Nuke, just to nuke. Nuke CS. Nuke CS. And, and then. And then. I can't think of anything else. That, that, that's all that's I'm getting. It. That's it. That's, 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 that's the game getting. plan. We're going to play CSGO, actually, for the rest of the finals. <laughs> uh, <we'll> be... <laughs> no, but I, I don't know. This could go any way, but they can do any strat that they want. I... I'm not in a position to, to even say, because even if I give a guess, it's going to be something completely different. So I'm just excited to see what's going to happen. Fair enough. Here we are. Oh, geez. Timeout's coming to a close here. We're getting started. Round number 23 or 24 here. Third match point. You know, I've been doing this for how many months now, and I still can't just do the simple edition of the rounds. I can't either, and I'm a business major. I'm supposed <laughs> to know that. It looks Nugget. like Ethan will be bringing an operator. Get out of my way. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy we're on Coney's camp for that. Oh, Nugget's up there on top. Oh, Nugget's been marked and has to retreat there. I think it will come down to who gets this first pick here. Firebirds have the Sova ult at their ready. Slumdank's toxins are taken out by the KO knife. 
There's a lot of util being dumped into A site right now. Firebirds are going to have to start rotating soon. Nugget tries to go to the back of site now. Puts the one way up perfectly at the back of site. Nugget now making it all the way. That's that utilization of... Oh, oh the high ground dear. that Nugget can take as Jet. Happy Samoyed gets taken out. Now Kaleoth's taken out. Kony gets Nugget, though. 3v4 for the Firebirds on retake. The operator is going mid as Sova's pushing up. Oh, there's the headshot chance. Now it's just down to Kony. And, and just it looks like, like that, we're going to overtime. Overtime in map number two. Woo! And we get a little. One of them had to. We got a nice God. little theme song at the end. <laughs> we will see overtime. Hey, what, what I say, LU pulls up. Don't sleep, baby. I'm not sleeping. We got them right here. We're watching them. They're clutching up so far. We're going to see if the Firebirds can hopefully stop them finally, as uh, LU has been making quite the little run back here. Both teams able to full buy. Victor, I'm with stress. you. The stress is real. <laughs> and then just a little bit of keyboard vomit there in the chat. We got a little going on. I wonder what's scarier, the, us being in the room or the, the players playing? Cause oh, guys, it's it's us. I I, I, I feel yeah. like I get way more stressed than any of these players. I, I know. Standing ahead. Firebirds back on the attack half. Not playing for that default strategy. They're going to go for A. Oh, they slow down. Who's going to get that first pick? It'll be crucial. The drone is out now. Hoax gets Ethan. To start it off, they put the slow orb to the back of the site. They put another one down. Firebirds are stopped by the snake bite. Can't quite push in yet. There's the rotation now. There's the full rotation. We got the lurker though going in. Coney's oh, made it all Coney. the way to kitchen. Coney hasn't run into anyone quite yet. Coney, Coney, Coney. oh he's finally oh, been found. Dear. We're gonna see some rotations now. Firebirds going mid. Will they be met? Coney gets one, can't get two. His handsome man gets Coney. Firebirds do have the advantage, and they're doing a little marathon sprinting over to B. Yeah, this is the two-a-day ice box going on right now by the Firebirds. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Wall goes up. Wall goes up and gets immediately shot down as Soren is not going to allow it. Oh, and oh, the get Soren wow. there. Spike should be able to be planted. Hanson Man, take it out and trade it. One it's up to go. Nugget. Planted. I'd leave it up to Nugget if it were... If I were the fans of Lakeland right now, Host brings back Kaleoff, the 1v3 now. Nugget oh, gets wow. two. One more left. They tap it once. Can't be seen through the smoke. Nugget's finally viewed. They got the positioning down. Kaleoff has to run into the snake bite just a little bit. Nugget is spotted once again. They're playing ring around the, the road. Cross, the crosshairs. And there's the crossfire. Oh, Nugget gets dear. another defusal. The snake bite will land on Nugget. The DK is there. Not quite able to finish it. There we go. One of OT goes to the Firebirds. And as the chest says, a nail biter. <laughs> oh, I need to breathe right after this. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank goodness we have a break in between maps. Holy oh. cow. Let's get, let's get some food. <laughs> Firebirds on defense. Good round there. Good Ooh, round. Dear. Nugget props for the 27 <laughs> bomb being dropped right now. Props to Happy Samoyed and Hoax for both dropping 24. And here we go. Firebirds are on defense this round. Looks like Lakeland will be pushing mid a little bit. Coney gonna wait, can't win that one, but is able to get out with just a scratch. Firebirds now see Lakeland mid. They're gonna try and slow him down. Hoaxed, holding that same angle. No one's decided to push a site yet. They're just holding that mid ground. They're gonna start to rotate toward A. We'll see all five of them push it. No lurker needed. Coney will start taking space again through tube. Firebirds are now going to come into contact with Lakeland on A. 
Caleb takes off one. Oh, and handsome man gets happy Samoyed out. 4v4. There's the shock dart. Oh, it's a little one. bit of tag. A bank will plant. There's a oh. shot. That gets Kaleo. Uh, Kaleo gets one. Coney flanking all the way. Oh. Kaleo hits another one. The ultimate's there. Coney gets Come one. On. There's just Sage left. A bank needs to stay alive. Slum deck is there. There we go. The Firebirds. Let's go. Take number two. <laughs> The series ties up one to one. You hear the eruption of fans in the other room. <laughs> there we go. Very what great a map. Good too. map by both teams. Nail biter indeed. The next map we have up on the docket will be Pearl, the newest map added Pearl. to Valorant. <laughs> it's the most like a CSGO map, so there's the strategy. We are just playing CSGO now. Props to Nugget on again on that 27 bomb. We're going to map three in just a few minutes, so we'll be right back.
Welcome back, Firebirds. We are getting started here with map number three. Series all tied up, one to one right here. It was a nail biter here on map number two. <laughs> we saw overtime as the Firebirds did come out on top, 14 to 12. Before that, though, it started off strong with the Lakeland Muskies going 13 to 6 against the Firebirds on bind. We are now seeing Pearl, the newest map in the game. The Firebirds will be defending first, and Lakeland will be attacking. We will have Coney, Slumdank, Kaleoth, uh, excuse me, Hoaxed, and Happy Samoy. There we go, because their, their order switched. I knew who they were playing at first, and then their order switched in the top left. And we'll see. look who we got in chat again. Oh, we got Shaddy in chat. Coach Alex from last year. Shaddy419. And now we got, uh, oh my gosh, the golden prospect here. That has to be Elliot. That's my guess is it's Elliot. So we get started here on round one. Firebirds are running Phoenix, KO, Fade, Viper, and Chamber. Whereas, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, Lakeland Muskies will be running Fade, Brimstone, Jet, KO, and Cypher. So we're going to see that Cypher play again that was pivotal in that bind win. Golden Prospector, he says, bro, no shot. All right, the popcorn's been grabbed by my Sumi here. Hoax oh, gonna have a tough time getting away. Able to do so, though, and then runs into the gun of a binky. Oh! A bink. Ethan now getting Coney. And the Firebirds have to play retake on the pistol round. I know, I said a binky. <laughs> I saw the one after his name and I got confused. Firebirds don't get any suppression going there. They will actually oh. be seeing a Soren will get Kaylee off. And then Soren is traded away by Happy Samoyed. Now it's just Happy Samoyed in a 1v4 scenario. It's a tough one to be in. Not quite able to pull it off yet. Trying to just look for the picks, I think. Oh, and dear. round one will go in favor of Lakeland to start off map three with a bang. That was a great initial push by Lakeland. Just pushing right through mid, going all the way to B, taking so much space in such little time. What a great first round. And as always, aggressive as ever. Aggressive as <laughs> ever. That is the name of the game for Lakeland. They do like controlling the pace. So that key to victory for the Firebirds is going to be whether or not they can reclaim that pace. We'll see a Firebird two stack on A and a three stack toward middle, actually, instead of watching B long. And it looks like we've... Pushing a side pretty quickly. Oh, and there's that five man push working out again for Lakeland. They do get one trade out of it, though. As they are trying to force this round, A Bink will get Coney. Kaleoff goes Whoa. down. Happy Samoyed gets another and is jumping and weaving. Can't quite get out, though. This should be all wrapped up in round number two for Lakeland. Oh, I thought Hoax was going to get him with the camera out. 2 0 Lakeland, though. Firebirds oh, and it's Galahads. Have the ch Oh, man, we got all the Carthage commentators in the chat now. <laughs> oh, man, it's getting harder to see all that Lakeland present right now. I just see my, my Sumi. Uh-oh, Lakeland, you better start uh, getting that chat going again. It was dominated by you guys earlier. All right, looks like Firebirds are getting their rifles, and we're heading up against three Spectres and two Marshals. You know, I saw a, uh, I think we did a prediction right before this map of uh, who would win map number three, and I, I, it was close. I think last I checked it, I'm not sure if I got to see all of it, uh, but the Firebirds were up 52% to 48%, so it's not like it was a landslide in terms of the prediction here. Definitely anyone's game. Oh, and oh. Pony can't get the pick on Nugget there. There's oh. one through, though, by Happy Samoy to the get him right gun. back in it. Flashback. Firebirds keep on rolling now. Oh, the all uh, it did end with the Carthage Firebirds at 55% to 45%. So, you know, still no landslide there. 
Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens there, but chat right now seems to think that uh, the Firebird's going to take this one and move on to match point. That is the fun one about this. Whoever, whoever takes this only needs one more map afterward. So it's going to be quite the momentum shift for the team that wins this one. Most definitely, and looks like Lakeland will be pushing over to mid. Opting to go to the left. Going up. <laughs> Golden Prospector says I wouldn't have missed that. <laughs> My bad. My bad. I'll try. I'll try harder for you. Soren able to spray Happy Smoy through the smoke. Three v two now scenario. I'm not sure what just healed Brimstone. Oh, it's left. just the shields uh, readjusting on the on the remain. screen. Oh, and Slumdank can't quite finish it off. But with one second left, this round will go to the Firebirds, and they will force it. We are now within one once again. <laughs> with the number one spray putting on. But that is going to be a really big loss for the Firebirds, having three of them getting taken out. So right now, they only have two rifles. Looks like Slumdink and Kayla. Or just Slumdink is gonna try and buy a stinger. Firebird's really just trying to make something of nothing here on round number four. Looks like a five man push also to be with some tripwires going around, just making sure none of the Firebirds can flank. Well, the Firebird's trying to get something going there. They, they try to pick someone off, and the five man push from A Bank and the Muskies is going as planned so far as they take all the space down long that they can. They stop the Firebirds. Not quite able to get a pick though. Hoax now, gonna go for the flash. Hoax got one, got Hanson Man. Happy Samoyed now gonna go for the flash. And they're gonna force the muskies backward just a little bit, put them, putting them on the back foot here. That's gonna slow down that pacing a lot. Let's see what's going to come out of it. Happy Samoyed going to be able to look down long. We'll see what the teams end up committing to. It's going to be a tough rotate to go all the way back. Luckily, I think I think Lakeland might have faked it just long enough to get enough people off site. But Firebird's doing a great job at stalling. They get, Happy Samoyed gets one, but it is traded away. There's the pick on the spike. Pokes able to get the wall down. Oaks now playing patiently. Gets oh. the pick. One more to beat. And Hoax oh. gets four. Hoax <laughs> stepping up huge. The crowd's loving it out there. Holy cow. <laughs> that was extremely well done by Hoax. You're going up 4-2 right now. Happy Smoyd at 5-4. And, four. and I wow. Him here. A two, bank two. is five and one. Yeah, A bank is going crazy this game as Cypher. And you know what? I won't lie. I think the Firebirds may be a little, little uneasy about the fact that they're going up against a Cypher. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> did, did Phoenix get buffed or are we trolling? <laughs> <laughs> and that was, we, we got Ethan's uh, uh, hoax best friend, uh, Datsun, in the chat saying, Ethan, you saw the trail. Why are you not swinging immediately? <laughs> oh, man. No love for our Firebirds here. <laughs> All fun and love and war. Knife gets destroyed there. Slumdank gets the molly right Ooh. on horse, man. And Slumdank gets the pick on Nugget. Hoax oh. will pick out Soren, though. Hoax now healing up. Has the ultimate at the ready. Firebirds just need to take out two more. Ethan and Abink waiting down in A main. Trying to maybe use that slow tactic to force people off the site. Make them think they're rotating. Sneaking on through. Oh, and oh. Abing's missed the pick, but Slumdag trained right there to finish it off and bring the Firebirds up three to two. <laughs> well played. Firebirds are just stopping the tricep, especially Slumdank using <laughs> great. They <laughs> saw the chest. <laughs> We got that and saying, heck no, dude throws my ranked games. <laughs> no, no love for Hoax right now, even though he's going crazy in map number three. <laughs> yeah, we do love an active chat. It's good to see so many people 
chatting it up right now and again i say i'm not seeing much of lakeland right now in the chat you better start reclaiming the territory you started off with it's just gonna keep feeding these firebirds Second like be pushing a again but after the great lineups by slumdank the last time to deter them from pushing forward a little bit interesting oh but they do have fatal they pop it Oh, and they are slowed down, though, by Slumdang. Oh! Taken out by Hanson Man through the wall. They're trying to make something happen. The bubble gun doesn't do much. The Seize gets... Oh! Out. ...with the grenade. Spike is down and Dang. running into the vault. Oh, my God. Oh, what am I witnessing? Oh, it's oh, okay. Out. The trade by Coney. I didn't know that was the Phoenix ultimate. <laughs> Firebirds, 3v3 now. Kaleoth is doomed. Oh, but gets out of there just in time. And there's another One double pick remaining. there. One left. It's Spike just Fade. Up against Hoaxed and Happy Savoy. Oh, oh. Firebirds up four to two. <laughs> and we hear some cheers in the other room. It is getting electrifying in the Firebirds Esports Center. Oh, uh, hey, there we go. We got LU coming back in here. There we are. We got Min Mouse in here. Throwing that dog out there. And Mace of me as well. <laughs> yeah, but what a great hold. I, I was so scared when uh, uh, Hoax died. I thought uh, he didn't pop the ultimate. All right. If you're Lakeland, you got to stop letting the Firebirds play this pace. You know, you got to, I think, slow it down. I think a default is what you need right now. And I think that's what we're going to see mm -hmm. here. Lakeland's going to start playing it a little slower. Yeah, maybe force way. the Firebirds to rotate too quickly. We will see Coney just spraying and praying down B long there. Nugget will get the pick on Happy oh. Savoy. Kaleoth stops it. And oh. we'll find the headshot there on Hanson Man. We found one. I'll find you. Haunt destroyed. Ethan is there waiting with just a classic. There's the smoke. Oh, careful. Oh, oh, can't quite control that spray there onto Ethan. 3v3 scenario now. Does get some health down, however. Coney starts lurking, though. Coney's going to run into someone if they try to go back through spawn. It seems like Lakeland is committed to this little door here. 30 seconds. Here. Oh, and Coney's, oh, Coney's going behind. Yeah. Slithering up. Seems like all the oh, Firebirds dear. might go behind. Oh! Can't quite get the pick. Should have just kept the slow pace. And Kaleoth gets a pick there, followed by Slumdank. Firebirds just need to get one more. Oh! As Slumdank finishes it off, giving a lead of three to the Firebirds. Great timing for the Firebirds. Wow, this is... And there we are. First time out in round eight. <laughs> I hear Shaddy saying, I know. did I hear Galahad yelling from the other room? <laughs> Annexed, thank you as always. Again, next season, if you ever want a caster for WCRL, I'm there. Uh, and oh, these casters are truly awesome. Oh, they love us. Oh, they <laughs> like me. They really like me. <laughs> <laughs> Time out active for Ethan. I. They did. They slowed it down at the start. But then there becomes a point where you need to either stay toward the back of the map to make sure that they can't start flanking you yeah. if you're going to slow it down. Because once you commit to that middle, especially on Pearl, there's just too many access points to you. Oh, for you sure. You can't get stuck in that center point of the map right there. Otherwise, it's you're just in no man's land. The Firebirds can attack you from anywhere. So I think you need to start picking a point and sticking to it and pushing through that lane. Most definitely. It. Uh, I mean, with four lanes, basically, that's how I like to split it up. It. It is a flanker's, you know, perfect dream. <laughs> On we see uh, Mason. Me, can I cast? That'll be fun. I mean, I, I'm always down to have a competition. I. That'd be I would super say, it'd fun. be super fun if, if we could. Uh, next time we we have a LAN, we should try and set up a one caster from each and see what happens. <laughs> That'll be a good one. That'd be really fun. Then it's none of that bias. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, uh, there's a lot of bias. Oh, yeah. It's just it'll get balanced it, out. It, you know, it's good 50-50. Firebirds three stacking A site and leaving just about no one on B except for Coney, who's going to watch down long with 
with host as nugget comes through oh. but Ho coney wins that gun duel with the help of hoax we'll see the ko alts come through now as they push on the b site they will get the plant down as the firebirds left it pretty close to defenseless this will be a retake scenario for the firebirds oh man ethan just waiting for any peek from happy samoid oh and down goes ethan and happy samoid with the trade there soren will get coney there's the spread there go. and it's a 1v2 now for kaleoth tough position to be in i believe Oh, playing it well, though. Playing it well. Cat oh. get it, though, and Handsome Man gets that momentum going once again for Lakeland. Love to see it. We're heading to round nine. Firebirds up five to three. Def man, Hoax stepping up again huge in these early right. rounds. Oh. Now, the thing that I think really made the difference, <clears throat> excuse me, made the difference on... Uh, Map number two was when Happy Samoyed really started picking up the pace. Yeah. So if we see Happy Samoyed really start to pick up that kill pace, start to go with a positive KD, I, I, th I think that's where they could start to really start to run away. But Lakeland's doing a good job keeping them within arm's reach right now. We'll see if they can do that by bringing them one closer to tying it up right now. They're going for a default plan right now on the map. Uh, we're going to see Slumdank alting just to deny that space on A site. All right, here we go now. Coney just washing down. We got two ultimates in use for the Firebirds. I'm hearing some footsteps. <laughs> and Hoax is just jumping around. <laughs> there goes a hunt. Happy Samoyed will be seen. That does give up some information as they m will elect not to push and they'll push toward A. Oh, and a... Quick rush to A, but they're gonna find Slumdanks. We'll Viper's see the push pit. to A site now. Slumdank will get the pick though immediately on Hanson, man. Ooh. He's able to uh, keep the Viper's Pit alive as we're seeing Coney now have to run all the wow, way across the map. that's a nice spot. Happy Samoyed gets two and wow. Kaleoth gets two as well. One left on the map and Slumdank will handle that one. Firebirds put themselves up by three once again. Love to see it. <laughs> Shaddy. Co-caster idea will just turn into a brawl straight out of Anchorman. Nah, we'll be civil, we'll be civil. Me and my, me and my Sumi would have a good time. <laughs> that would be fun. You and my little sidecar. With the Raisin Canes. <laughs> oh, always with the Raisin Canes. <laughs> the only thing unfortunate about that round is we did use up every last ultimate we had. That is true. So... That is true. Luckily, though, the Firebirds economy in a great spot. They're going to be able to full mm -hmm. buy this round and next, even if they, this one goes as poorly as possible. But I don't think it will. We're going to see the Haunt being thrown out to try and clear that angle. Soren now trying, almost gets picked off by Hoax. Nugget tries to rush it, can't quite pull it off, and the Firebirds do a great job at stalling these people. Here. Minute 15 left on the clock. Lakeland has all that space in the middle. Mm -hmm. This is the problem they ran into, though. They need to start making a decision now. And they need to just start pushing. Yeah, or else they're gonna now get they're going to get there. surrounded. We got Happy Samoyed behind. And we'll see them start to make their way toward A-Site now. How much action is Happy Samoyed and Ethan in a standoff that they don't know about? It's kind of like a Western movie right now. <laughs> that it is. Nice and quiet. And see, there's the sheriff gun and... <laughs> Oh, yeah, and you know the Stinger that's in all the Westerns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. And the Phantom every now and then. All right, it seems like the push is starting now on the A side. It's all about tempo here. Which team's going to be able to ride on theirs? No pick there. There's one and two. Oh! Kaleoth. Make it three by Happy Samoyed. One more left. It's Soren. And the Firebirds don't get it. It's going to be up to Hoaxed and Coney, though, for the retake. They get Flash the blind. Out. And Soren waits to her back of sight. 12 seconds to remain. 10 seconds left. Oh, and there we Tony go. will finish it off as the Firebirds go up 7-3 to three now. We hear some cheers in the back. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm loving, loving how the Firebirds are playing on Pearl. It's very, very synergized together. That it is. I like that no one is completely left to lurk alone. Yes. Thank you. And I think that's crucial in those key trades we've been seeing. Like Happy Samoyed and Hoax have been doing a great job of trading each other. Mm-hmm. But this one might be a little bit more difficult. They do have three ults at the ready for Lakeland's side. Let's see how this plays out. A little bit slower pace this time around. All right, we'll see Nugget get a pick on Hoax to start the round off. <coughs> Excuse me, John Coney, too. Happy Samoyed's position now revealed. The knife does not suppress anyone. Nice patience there by Lakeland to get that first pick and still recognize that, that gives them the advantage now and control of the map that they've been looking for. They're going to slowly push up to B now. Ooh, this this is a really smart play because Spike isn't even there. Nugget will get Coney now. Oh my gosh, I didn't I didn't even see that. Spike is moving toward toward A site. It's a complete <clears throat> distraction play. Oh, but there, looks like they're pushing off of A site. Now it seems like Slumdank and Happy Samoyed are about to get pincered. They get one pick. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one. And Lakeland brings themselves back in it. That was really well done. I just wish that they would have gone for the plant on A. It was it was wide open for that it was. The flank did seconds. work out though, but either way, great patience mm -hmm. there by Nugget, as well as his other teammates to make sure that they didn't just push immediately after getting that first pick. Yeah, it kind of took the Firebirds strategy and flopped it up against right. them. Right. I'm mean, especially with seeing uh Brimstone just hiding out by the doors and then just being able to wait for the Firebirds to get into that death zone and then just pinching them right in. <clears throat> Excuse oh, but me. Coney Once does again. have operator now. TP's Coney away. has to teleport out because of the camera Get there. We will see the ultimate being used to just kind of take some space in mid. Very smart. Happy hey, Samoyed has been riding there, and now they can immediately push that. Oh, and Hoax can't quite get out of there as Nugget oh, takes okay. out Coney and Hoax. Great plays there wow. by Lakeland. Synergizing well with each other. Hanson Man will get one. Now it's a 5v2. Very tough position if you're a Firebird. Ooh, that's a cool flash. Happy Samoyed trying to force and make something happen with that ultimate there. I don't think that was the play. I think we saved that for another round. I agree, but let's see. They get one. They get two. two. And Nugget will finish ah. it off by getting the fourth wow. pick. Almost the ace. I say right now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to call timeout. Ah, but now we've switched halves. You don't really want to use that first time oh, out of the half. Oh, we did! I did not <laughs> even realize. I need to get my glasses. <laughs> Firebird. <laughs> At the end of the half, are up by two. Hoping to keep it going here on the attacking side. Firebirds do look like they're going to test their luck on B first. Um, they will go for, I believe Coney is going to be going for the Headhunter, and everyone else will have a Ghost, as well as one Classic there by Slumdank. Excuse me. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. everyone, everyone's detected there. It's going to cause that quick rotation there. We're seeing Nugget now making his way from A site. Oh. Firebirds immediately faking it. They're running back. Hoax there, trying to just make sure they think we're still going. They're wow. going to run into two. They're going to meet Nugget right here. Oh, dear. And Nugget will get one, two, Whoa. three. Whoa. This is the chance for it. Hoax will put an end to it. That is not what you want to see for the Firebirds. Great headshots there by Nugget. Coney now pushing toward A, trying to find some sense of grounding here in this round since it was thrown so far off by Nugget. Maybe we can take a look at chat. Uh, they keep 
they keep saying nugget and they keep thinking it's it's bullying uh that is just the name of the uh <laughs> of the player we don't need to withhold uh any any mentions of nugget Last player oh, he's taken out by Soren, and Coney should be next. Yep, there we are. Very nice job by Lakeland to bring it within one. All right, if you're the Firebirds, this is where you want to put it all on ice here. Start taking a couple more rounds. Keep on rolling. For sure, yeah. Uh, I don't know what they should do this time around. I mean, that last one, it was a really aggressive... A push onto it trying to flank him out just just nugget being Frankly, insane I, with headshots and again hindsight is 2020 20. maybe i'm only saying this due to the fact i can see the mini map but moment all five of us get detected by that i would just immediately rotate to another site yeah or i would rotate four and have one stay all right, we're going to see the slow play now by the Firebirds. They're going to hope that Nugget gets a little too greedy here. It's on moving. Nugget oh, doesn't, though, because wow. Nugget's got the skill to back it up. Gets out Slumneck and Happy Samoyed. And gets out with a tiny scratch. Spike is down. Last player standing. Oh, Hansen dear. Man finishes off two more. So a 2-2 two, two and can fade get the last one here. Or will it be Hanson, man? Kaleoth stuck in a 1v3. It's going to be a tough one. The oh! Bulldog in hand. We'll see what happens here. Kaleoth watching an angle <laughs> that no one will be coming from. Frankly, Kaleoth can just run to sight right now. Little do they know. And there's the finish by A Bank there. As we're tied up seven to seven on map number three. This is getting extremely interesting as we head into round 15. So now Firebirds will have guns to buy. This is, and a timeout is in place for the Firebirds. So they really got to get this momentum back. <laughs> my Sumi, I need to get my glasses. <laughs> Found you very funny, Toner. Oh, yeah, we can catch up on the chat now. Show Happy, he's so cute. He is very cute. Happy Samoyed is quite the cute guy. He's Happy quite Samoyed a cute is. lad. Uh, <laughs> if you want to take out Toner and the Anchorman Brawl, go for his eyes. <laughs> sure he can't see very well already. Uh, <laughs> then we got our auto mod trying to, yeah, exactly, take out our Nugget hype here. Nugget, please. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Nugget going crazy there. I, if we could tab real quick, I'd like to see uh, see who's running. Yeah, how, how's Nugget doing? 15, 15 and 11, 11 and 2. You know, I won't lie. With how this game has gone, I thought that was going to be a lot higher number. I thought he was already in the 20s. Yeah, it's looking to, to go uh, in that direction. <laughs> All right, we're getting back into it right here. Firebirds trying to find the momentum after that uh, three rounds they just gave up. Yeah, I don't know exactly what they should do now. Any uh, suggestions other than what we've been saying? All My analytical brain got turned off once the chat actually decided to start talking to us. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, <laughs> normally, I could we have a dead chat and I could sit here and and just and just say things. <laughs> about the game because I can just completely observe it. But now I've also been focusing on the chat. Um, <laughs> frankly, I think if you're the Firebirds, now that you have rifles, it's a complete game changer. They always play better on their rifle rounds anyway. And I think that'll be a key going forward is just how whether they can outgun play them. a -Bank trying to get one. We'll get Happy Samoyed for his troubles. Firebirds trying to push on to B. We'll see the teleport out by Cone. Oh, but three are... Three flanking from behind. Oh, dear. Tough spot to be in if you're the Firebirds. Coney just watching helplessly right now as the pincer tactic is being invoked upon them. Yeah, they have nowhere to go but push. Yeah, we're about to see them start to get on in here. Hoax just keeps watching. 
There's one shot you want at your back line. It's hoaxed. And he's going to actually just turn away and say, eh, whatever. Uh, and keep on moving through. Firebird's got to commit to that site now. You know the rotations are coming. Coney's still watching. Handsome man gets Coney. Firebirds are now aware of the flank behind. They get oh, one. They get two by Kaleoth. Ethan gets slum dank though, so it's a 1v3. Uh -oh. Tough situation, and A Bank will finish it off. Lakeland goes up by one. There. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky situation now. Hope they don't know who wants to defuse. <laughs> Oh, the weird the, the, the fuse animation was glitching there for a second, and they weren't on our screen. <laughs> All right. All right, really, though? Oh, man, now that they lost on the rifles, they're back to saving again. So let's see what the Firebirds try and come up with here. It's got to be a slow tactic, off angles. Hopefully get Lakeland to bite and maybe overcommit. Really test and see if they're, they're as patient as they can be. will be a tough one here most definitely looks like this time a lot of the traps are going towards a firebirds pushing toward a site through mid and main nugget immediately gets a pick on happy samoid Oaks now needs to look behind him Oh, and Hoaxed, now just trying to slow him down. Hoaxed is going to run into another problem, and Soren will win that one. Kaleoth can't win against Nugget there. This is a very <laughs> scary situation for the Firebirds. They lose this, and the Econ is going to be immense for the next few rounds. Yeah, Firebirds should. Luckily, they'll be able to full buy after this round, regardless of outcome. Oh my gosh, we're in so quiet. Ah, edge of the seat. Two v five. Coney and Slumdank. Thirty seconds left. We're gonna run into Soren. Three shots left on the Headhunter. There's the smoke. We might be stuck in the same spot we were in a second ago. As the Firebirds. Oh, get Whoa. one! And there's Soren to finish ah. it off. Playing patient in the smokes. <laughs> uh, I assure you, PD, we should not sub flare in for this level of a game. And Minmas, you are right. LU money is going goofy right now. They have plenty to full buy for rounds and rounds to come right now. So the Firebirds are going to have to start making a dent in that right now. Yeah, most definitely. This is the round to do it. Hoax will try and initiate sight there. He'll get one to start. He gets a bank. Now he's pushing to the back of sight. Sees one more. Let's gets go. two with the ultimate. Oh, wow. Can't Would quite get three. A brim ult. Soren's ultimate will get Kaleoth and Kony. Evening up the numbers with one click of the keypad. And I think that was also tied in with Fade's uh, tether. A really good combo. Great synergy being used there. Nugget trying to get another one. Three left. Do the Firebirds rotate off this or just keep committing? We're going to see Happy Samoyed start to pull away. Will Happy Samoyed have ultimate from that? Not quite. We will see the Firebirds faking the rotate, I believe. Happy Samoyed throws the knife out just to try and get him to lurk even a little more. All right, they've, they've drawn working. two off the point. And here they come. All right, and now it's a post plant scenario. Firebird's gotta, gotta stay strong on the post plant. Slumdank going to the lineup spot. Happy Samoyed, not much health to work with. Oaks though, great shot. Gonna find someone on the backfield here. Playing ring around the rosy with Soren right now, as Soren will get Happy Samoyed. 
There's the headshot by Hoaxed. Oh, Ace another potential. One. Ace potential. Oh, I didn't even revive. Oh. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Oh, wow. And with that, we finished our first bingo. Oh, look how the exhilaration. <laughs> We can finish two more bingo cards with two more aces. Great ace there by Hoax. Showing the Firebirds, hey, we still got that dog in us. We're gonna keep on rocking here. The peaking mic. <laughs> <laughs> our bad, our bad, we got a little excited. We got a little we excited We just haven't there. finished bingo in like, what, four or five weeks? <laughs> it's true, it's been a while since we've gotten to finish our bingo here. The ace has eluded us quite a few times. Hoax showing up big in the final right now. Coney with the ultimate. Firebirds, you know, you see that momentum. You might want to accidentally start getting greedy. That's where Lakeland likes to prowl on you. They like playing that patient game. Mm-hmm. There's, there's the spray. Oh! Yeah, we'll get it with the prey. Handsome man will get hoaxed, though. Smoke. Soren throws the smokes down to try and stop the firebirds. Oh, snap! Oh. Happy Samoyed! Let's see Soren. Soren will get Coney as well. 2v4 now. Oh, and we got, we got one figured out there. Firebirds will get the plant off in time. We will see the attempt by Slumnank to stay at the back of point. 40 seconds is on the clock. And Kaleoth will play long. Oh man, that's gonna be a tough one as all of them are there on point. Slumdank takes care of one. There's the poison orb. Nugget will finish it though. <laughs> one more pick by Kaleoth there. No defusal yet. They gotta take out Soren. Oh, they get one. Kaleoth's got one to beat. They have timer on their side, and I think they've done it with the timer, to be honest. It's by Kaleoth, the three piece at the end to tie it up nine to nine. Another on the bingo board. No, you can't make the bingo board there. What are you making? That's where my that's where my maps go. I'll move him over there. Ah, what have you done here? All right, we got a timeout. I gotta make it look prettier. All right, he's making the bingo board look pretty. We have a timeout called by Ethan. Great, great stuff right here. Oh, we gotta show the we gotta show the show the bingo board. All right, we're we're working on it. We, it's it's usually just a little piece of scratch paper. We're making it real pretty for you right now. Don't worry. We got it. We got it. The bingo board's coming. Stop getting rowdy. We got it. It's coming. I swears. Now, if you are Lakeland, what are you talking about in this timeout? I think one thing that you're really trying to focus on is, uh, I don't know. The Firebirds are just winning gunfights that Lakeland should, like, have the advantage on. You know, that, I mean, that was just a clutch. That's a 1v3. That's, that's not something that the Firebirds should be winning. So I think really one thing that needs to happen is Lakeland needs to just calm down understand that they are gonna be able to hit their shots all right now we'll stay on the host cam for one more second this bingo card's done and there it is boom we are time management amazing is it up there we can't actually tell <laughs> maybe <laughs> and there we got uh I just, to play I better win more. This... hey min mouse i'm just saying they had a numbers advantage of like four to two there that's, I mean, that's a round you should be winning. I'll find you. Uh, it's, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I'd say it if it was the Firebirds too. That's a round you should be winning, a 4v2. Yeah, it nine is. Nine it is, is, is a bingo board. It has five five little corners in it. We don't, There's not enough things in Valorant for it, to be a, for it to be a full bingo board. You know, my Sumi, you don't get to come into my chat and start disrespecting how I run things. And Shaddy too, <laughs> Shaddy. No, this is important stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, the quick flank. Coney gets Whoa! three to start it off. Being patient as ever. Happy Samoyed gets Nugget. Firebirds immediately up in numbers. See, now if the Firebirds throw this one, my Sumi, I'll be mad. 
it won't make sense. And I'll say they simply need to play better. Or I'm sorry, Min Mouse. <laughs> A-Bank tries to get the cage out. Trying to play the flank over here. Peeks off the side. There's one. Oh, two. wow. Hey, all right. See, this shouldn't be happening. But there we go. We got another. Now a 2v1. And if Soren clutches that, I'll say it. The Firebird should not have let that happen. All right, chat. If you can make a bingo, better bingo board, show us. Show us your better bingo board. <laughs> oh, it's a 1v1 now for Kaylee off. 10 seconds. Ooh. All right, Kaylee off. You got to wait for him to come through. All right, there we go. And there's there caster curse. Probably. But either way, Firebird shouldn't be losing that round. You had five to two up at the start of it. That's why they put me in charge. I'm just saying. See there. Are you happy now, Min Mouse? Are you happy? I live to satisfy you. <laughs> Firebirds are down by one as this game is neck and neck heading toward the end here. Now I'm sad about my my bingo board. Oh, you made Toner sad about the bingo board. What are you what are you guys doing here? I worked really hard on the bingo board. Nah, I'm proud we of, yeah, we like the bingo board. And you know what? We don't do it for Lakeland, we do it for us. It's just me and you. Firebirds <laughs> trying to tie it back up. As oh wow! Cold there. There's gonna be some aggression by Nugget and Ethan. There's the ultimate oh, there. Oh wow! We'll get the pick on Nugget. Hoax able to run it back, trying to get one more pick. We'll now have to teleport back. They have the numbers advantage. This is where I think you make the. Ooh! They get another one, but this is where I think you make that play and slow down just a bit. Slow it down. You will have the map control now. You have five members. Yeah, there you go. Slowing it down. Slowing it down. Going up. There's the ultimate by Slumdank. They get another. Hoax gets Ethan. Teleport's ready. Slumdank gets the spike down. Two left to beat. Oh my gosh. Happy Samoy goes for the pop flash. They're above you, Happy oh. Samoyed! Oh, and Hanson Man gets him! Oh, wow. We will see the pick on Hanson Man on Kaylee off, but Coney will get A Bank. It goes down. Hanson Man now just waiting. Hanson Man gets hoaxed. It's Coney and Slumdank left, but Slumdank. The lineup got, Larry. Got lineups. Oh, it doesn't even need a lineup when you're that close. There's the finisher <laughs> by Slumdang to tie us up at 10 to 10. There we go. Wow. <laughs> what a series we've got on our hands right now. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I ate right before this started, but that was about three oh, hours. Oh, wow. Ago. Look at that. Soaring at 20 and 14. Holy cow, wow. Soren coming up big for the muskies here. Hoaxed always staying consistent. Like I said, once I see Happy Samoyed start start climbing, that's the <laughs> that's that, that's the tough one. <laughs> oh, Shaddy. Yeah, Shaddy says hearing hoaxed get Ethan just sounds weird. Shaddy, on Friday, Flair played against someone named Tanner. So it was Flair shoots on the net and Tanner makes the save. <gasps> I like what you said, Shaddy. I respect that. Firebirds pushing up through B, <laughs> keeping the spike back with options. Coney waiting for that flank. Happy Samoy oh dear. immediately taken out. Nugget gets Coney. There's two there. They're oh, both the caught. Goes out. There's one. Oh, gets two. Firebirds in a 3v4. They find three of them. Spike is down. Hoaxed and Happy Samoyed playing toward back of sight. Slumdank will get Hanson Man. Nugget gets Slumdank, though. Tough spot for the Firebirds to be in, especially with that smoke. They throw the grenade down. They do get it halved. Oh, oh another pick by Happy Samoyed. It's up to Hoaxed. 1v1 oh, no. clutch. Come on. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Nugget as he gets four to put him up by one. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> I, lo I love that spray. Nugget stepping up huge, taking the top frag spot from Soren. Wow, what a game we got here. Yeah, most definitely. I. Jeez, Nugget and Soren just putting in the work, and I, I don't know what to do in that position. We were down by numbers, but I don't know. But it is close. All right, Firebirds going toward A site. Happy Samoyed immediately <laughs> diffs Nugget there. It's a great start with the Sheriff going against that ultimate. Another Sheriff on the ground. Firebirds do get the suppression there. Oaks now trying to push toward A site. Firebirds have the numbers advantage though. Happy Samoyed is definitely on life support there. <laughs> It does all go silent. <laughs> Alright, we do see the hoax ultimate pushing on the site, making the space. He gets one, sees another. Oh, but great pick oh, there by Lakeland. Whoa! Though, turns it around and gets Hanson Man and Soren. 3v1 scenario now. Leave it to A Bank though to clutch it up. Trying to force match point here. And then sprinting over to B as quickly as they can to plant the spike. Careful now. Happy Samoyed is still flanking. Spike planted. We'll see A Bank now trying to push on through. Happy Samoyed slithering up. Oh! <laughs> Finishes him off. He thought about it for a second. He thought about it for a second. He thought about it. But the win was more important. 11-11, make your wishes now. Both teams need them as we head into this one. I have my wish. We're seeing a full buy from the Firebirds. We are seeing a save from the Muskies. My bad. I ran out of air. <laughs> Ooh, this is getting intense. That it why, is. Why do they always bring it to this? <laughs> Above 20 rounds. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, we're seeing just a rotating clock on the map. We're seeing the tour day. Day Pearl from the Lakeland Muskies as they are just pushing through spawn. Oh my goodness, what a strategy we're watching. What an interesting strategy we were watching from the monkeys. Didn't quite work out. It was a 50-50 shot whether or not they would go over to B site. Firebirds have in favor. And there's oh. the finish by Kaylee off. Tethers down. The finish oh, down. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Kaylee off falls. <laughs> One to beat now. It's just Ethan left in the back of sight. Ethan gets a vandal for his troubles. We'll run oh. right into Coney though. <laughs> and the Firebirds bring it to map point first. We hear some cheers map in the back. So oh, and Coney immediately getting out the uh, Tour de Force. Oh my goodness. I Firebirds want to lock it down now. <laughs> and not send us to our second overtime of the night. 10 seconds. 23 and 14 for Hoax. 23 and 18 for Nugget. Holy cow, it's a tough one here. Firebirds on the attack here. Play, let's play. We will see Chambers Ultimate going live. Tour de Force in the middle, watching the rotation. And it looks like we also have Fate Ultimate at the ready. Firebirds taking their time right now. They understand that they should be winning this gun game. Or can we tab real quick? Was everyone able to full buy? Yes, they were, aside from one full shield. All goes silent. And there's the fade ultimate. Execution of Skyrim now. They get one. 
down goes down goes Nugget. Soren gets host. Soren goes down by Happy Samoyed now. Firebirds take control of sight and we'll get the plant. They're sending the Prowler up. Oh, Happy man. Samoyed will, I mean, the Slum Deck will go down through Hanson Man's grenade. Spike's still not planted. Firebirds in a tough spot. 3v3 scenario. It's gonna come to down to gunplay. Firebirds have control of Spike again. Oh no, Abink is coming from the back though. Oh Let's no! Pony. 30 seconds left. There's oh, one pick by Happy Samoy. Two picks. One left. Down a. He's right in there. No! Oh! there by Happy Samoy. We got overtime coming in game number three. Oh, dear. Overtime. I don't like feeling like this. This is not good for my heart. No, it's week not. Week after week after no, week. No, it's not. Winner of this one will move to match point in the Emergence Midwest Finals. Firebirds will start on defense here. Abink and the Muskies will start on offense. We've been streaming for about four, no, three hours now. I've been uh, getting ready for stream for about four. Oh, look, and we got the lines on the oh, heads we got the again. lines back. <laughs> that one's always funny. Garth the G Sports, this is too much stress for a Monday. Most definitely, especially during finals week. All right, here we go. We got the free cam going. Look at him. He's, hey, our, our producer's getting fancy with it over there. Nugget will stop the Prowler. Has the dash at the ready. Firebird spread out across the map. We will see the Lakeland Muskies pushing toward A site. Slumdank waiting. Kaleoth being forced to move. Firebirds playing patient. Tony will anchor down B site while Hoax starts to make his movement. We will see the rotation start by the Muskies. Yep, they're sprinting Lots over. Lots of noise being made. Nugget will anchor down A site to wait for any stragglers. Firebirds haven't started the rotation yet. Not quite able to. Teleports out of there without a scratch there. Nugget gets happy Samoyed. This is looking good for Lakeland. They've played this very wonderfully. It's going to be up to Hoax now to make some noise here. Hopefully get a couple wow. picks. Didn't oh, see no. one behind you. Oh, no. And Handsome Man will get two more. The pick there by Kaleoth is in. Kaleoth gets one. Something Slumdank gets another. one himself. 2v3. It's a tough one to be in if you're the Firebirds. Ooh. Now it's up to Slumdank. There's the ultimate being used. They won't save it for the next round. They push match point now. Firebirds need to tie it up and send it to the second overtime. Match point. <laughs> Ooh. Nice little view of Pearl here. Everyone's Ooh, gonna just look up, a, look up. There's a giant gonna, whale. Everyone's going to take a nice little... Uh, Where's the wrath? I just see the boats. Where's the whale? Where's the whale? Where's the whale? Oh. There's no whale. You lied to me. <laughs> there is a whale. I promise there's a whale. All right, we're getting there's started somewhere. here. Firebirds on the attack now. They're going to try a site. It is heavily stacked there by the muskies. <sighs> it looks like two are going to be flanking through mid. I will see Abink waiting down that hall there. Won't find anyone as we're going to see Kony and Kaleoth moving along. Nugget gets the pick. That's a great start for Lakeland. Firebirds are going to have to recover. Firebirds staying strong. They're going to start the rotation. I like that idea. Kony now playing the Nugget game, waiting for anyone else that's straggling and then being able to teleport out. Hoax is going to start moving down long as Slumdank and Happy Samoyed move down. 
40 seconds left on the clock. Coney can't get Ethan. 30 seconds. Host is seen. Will they make it to there we go. I'm Host gets one. Happy Samoyed gets another. Host oh, gets another. He refuses to let this be it. Bank gets one more. It's one left on the table. It's A Bank though. He's clutched before. He can do it again. But realize it. We see another overtime in map three. I don't like this dude. Do we get paid medical leave? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh dear. Fiverr is going back on defense. Let's see how this one plays out. 26 and 17 for Hoaxed here. Oh, it ain't over yet. We got 13 to 13. It is again win by two in these matches. So now it's a whole nother overtime here. Firebirds back on defense. We're gonna see the five stack down B long. Hoax can't land the shot. <laughs> Min Mouse says, vote for John. I Go agree. Next. I agree. I second that. Ethan gets denied. But Coney gets the first pick. The spike will get planted. planted. Alioff gets Ethan. Firebirds up five to three in numbers. Kaleoff gets Nugget now as Kaleoff steps up for the Firebirds. Soren will get Coney though. It ain't done. Oh dear. Coney and Hoax caught in the tr cross, caught in the cross, uh, caught in the crossfire. <laughs> Soren gets Kaylee off. The defusal starts again. One, enemy One enemy shot enemy. through the smoke, following the bullet trails. One Gotta left. Come out quick. Have to start that defusal. Force it. Make it happen. Last Good stuff. Standing. Gets it halfway. Nice it's up to Happy Samoyed. <laughs> come on. Good enough time it was. I saw Let's take round number one of overtime two. <gasps> Happy Samoy. He knows I don't see him as the most clutch player, but he just crossed another clutch right off our list. Oh, dude, this ain't good. Oh, my need goodness food. here. All right, Firebirds on attack now. Lakeland needs to put a stop to it right here. Can they stop the bleeding and force another OT? <laughs> Look at the lines. <laughs> 14 to 13. Firebirds in advantage. They'll be pushing through mid. Flat. Pop flash is there. They get Whoa. one to start it off. They get aggressive. They got the first pick in favor of them. Firebirds keep going. There's the flashbang. It covers wow. all the sight. Doesn't find anyone. Firebirds immediately take control of B site. Ethan's waiting up B long. There's the first shots. Hoax will go down. Soren will go down. There's as Kaleoff gets there. betrayed. Ethan gets slumdank now. The seize is there. Firebirds will get the plant, but Happy Samoyed goes down through the wall bang. Two versus two now. Spike planted. Coney has control of back of site. Along with Kaleoff. The spike is being defused. Spike is being defused. Oh, Kaleoff gets a nugget. It's one left. It's up to Kaleoff. Waiting for that defusal. The defuse is oh, happening. No. It's not going to be enough time. So... We'll see another overtime here. Forced by... <laughs> the mic cut is hilarious and beyond consistent. We will see another overtime. Is this overtime number three, correct? Third... Yeah. Triple overtime oh. here. Firebirds back on defense. Nailbiter all around. This is all you can ask out of a finals. I don't want this. This is scary, dude. I've been waiting here, waiting to chalk in the score for Pearl on my little notepad for about 20 <laughs> minutes now. What happens first, the game ending or Luffy finding the One Piece? Coney does not beat out Nugget on that aggressive push. Firebirds are down in numbers now. Soren will get Happy Samoyed. We'll see Kaleoff now trying to push up. A site completely left unattended. This could be the chance for Lakeland to push it. 
Slumneck making his way back to it. My Sumi, I see you. What's up? <laughs> 50 seconds. All right. <laughs> wow, one Viper oh. wall is doing a lot of a lot of work right now making sure that uh making sure that no one pushes. And here's the execution of sight now. 30 seconds left. The seize is there. Nugget gets taken out. Slum oh. gets another. Soren will get slum neck though. 2v3, it's a tough one. And that finds one. There's the flash. Now Hoax will get one and two. Now it's one left and it's Brimstone. He's already used the molly. The smoke's out. There's the flash. They can do nothing but wait as the Firebirds will have to take this one. There we go. And they send it to match point once again as Hoax clutches. Switching sides. Oh my goodness. I really Dude. hope we do have I'm medical too, leave. I'm too stressed for this. I'm too stressed for this commentary. This is, this is only map three. We're guaranteed one more. <laughs> All right, Firebirds, they find match point once again. Can they close it on attack this time? Or will Lakeland find it in themselves one more time to push it to quadruple overtime? Let's hope not. No quad. Host pushing slowly first. Gonna try and make that space. Soren pushing up far along with Ethan on B. That's gonna be trouble, I think. That's what that's the bread and butter right now. That's the bread and butter right now of uh of Lakeland. Are those heavy flanks with two people? Uh-oh. Firebird's gonna be met by two. I think my Sumi has made us a, a bingo. Soren gets Kaleoth, Hoax gets Ethan. Soren is still there, gets blinded and there taken out. Firebirds are up four to three right now in numbers. Four they handle that flank remain. very well. Hoax gets some healing back. Oh my goodness, why is this so stressful? They're pushing B now. And the Firebirds will find one. Oh. Hassan Man will get the pick though, and oh, Nugget here. followed up. Coney will get Hassan Man. 20 seconds. Now. Here. Nugget. Oh, and Abing here. Will force another OT here. As the Firebirds just can't quite close it out. My Sumi, drop my Discord's long. Drop yours in chat. I'll add you on it. If this is a bingo board, I'm about to be happy. I'm about to be really, really happy. If it's not a bingo board. Holy cow, we are drawing 58 viewers. What's up, guys? <laughs> That's probably the most I think a Carthage stream has ever had. Watching us have a heart attack. Watching <laughs> us have a heart attack while watching the finals. I'm liking this default right now from Lakeland. Oh, I right. finds two. Come on. Who's going to get this first pick here? That's the that's the name of the game. All right, do the play by play for a second. I'm adding my Sumi back. Okay. 45 seconds remain. Oh, and Host gets the first pick on Soren. That's the first domino. Can they make the rest of them fall? 35 seconds. <laughs> Host gets the flash out. 
Gets it on my back, you don't get And Abby Zimbalane gets a third. Spike down mid. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Mm -hmm. And there's one by A Bank. He needs four more. You need to see the ace out of the man in order to get the number advantage. <laughs> but yet they are guarding the spike. Oh, oh it's left. taken out by A Bank. Happy Samoyed right around the corner. Oh my oh, god. Wow. That one. Three seconds left. No, it's not enough time. Wow. I just had to wait off it. <laughs> and that was a great effort by A Bank. The Firebirds take it. Switching sides. Match point. Ooh, all right. Firebirds are up again. They need this round to close it out. Can they do it? They've been stopped three times now by... <laughs> Get timed out, Aiden. Get destroyed. <laughs> they need it now. Kaleoth starting it, the push toward B site. I think we're gonna start seeing that early Ooh. flank though by Nugget and Fade. Oh, opting not to flank. I like this spot from Coney. It worked out last time. It'll be up to them to figure out if it works again. They're gonna be backing up a little bit. Oh, and now we're back at the old standstill. Uh, it's all about the mind games right now. <laughs> 55 seconds left on the clock. Now 50. Now 45. <laughs> Good call. That's way, way, way to really hit that play-by-play. -play. Firebirds do have to start making a move, though. Whether it be... Oh, well, B-Side's probably all they have left. Mm -hmm. There's no right, time to do anything else. Here comes the execution. Else. All right, all the util being used up. 25 seconds remain. Look to your left. There's A-Bank. A-Bank will get hoaxed. There goes down one, two, three v four in favor of Lake. Lynn right now, and there's one left. Guy at the plant. Still possible. One Still more. possible. Oh, one no. feet. Three seconds. There's not time. And oh, we will see another overtime in this game. Tough. Switching sides. Over. I believe that is what quintuple overtime now. Round 33 in map three. And look at this game. I believe that's Hoax actually, at 33, over time, 23, and 6. Slumsing, 23, 23, 13. Kaylee, uh, 22, 24, 10. Happy Samoy, 22, 25, 17. And Coney, 18, 25, and 11. And for Lakeland, Soren, 29, 24, 11. Nugget, 29, 26. And uh, the rest later. <laughs> this. May Sumi. This is insane. It. Got it. It's May Sumi. There we go, Meisumi. I'm not gonna forget it because now they've made us an entire bingo card, courtesy of Meisumi and Yu Yu. Oh, but it says better bingo board. Oh, Firebirds execute on site. I mean, uh, the Lakeland execution on site goes very well, but it does end in a 3v3. Is this where Lakeland finally finds the gas to put themselves up and put the Firebirds on their back foot for once? <laughs> Firebirds, oh, no. stepping up huge in map number three. Oh, and dear. the Firebirds are pushed against it now. They got to bounce back and force another overtime on map number three here. What a beautiful Christmas themed bingo card oh, we yeah. have now though. <laughs> Oh, and it looks like Ice Helix put in chat making Siege matches look short. Most definitely. <laughs> I I am saving this for next season. <laughs> One of these is called Legally Blind. That's hilarious. Yeah, that is true. 
Now we have to check. It's an amazing bingo card. All right, Firebird's got to make something on this attack now. Otherwise, it is it. And we will be heading to map number four. We'll see Hoaxed go out. They immediately dodge that one out. Oh my goodness, so stressful, especially now that the Firebirds are on the back foot. Can they find it in themselves when pushed against it though? Going up. One minute <laughs> remain. Seventeen to sixteen right now. What a score for a Valorant match. Firebirds still have all five. Lakeland still have all five. 45 seconds on the clock. We got to get moving. There's the shot. Slumdank disabled. Happy Samoyed throws the flash through. Thirty seconds left. Oh, and here's the initiation. Here we go. Doran gets the first pick. No trade there. Hoax gets one. Then Soren gets Slumdank. Kalioff gets Soren. 3v3. Hoax is taken out. Down goes Kalioff. Just a few seconds left. Oh! One to beat. He's rotating towards site. Kalioff will get bombed down. Bank will finish it there for Lakeland on map three. What a map. Oh, dear. Oh my goodness, Lakeland putting themselves on match point. Frankly, I'll say it. A, a, a blink, or sorry, A bank put the team on their back that overtime. Most that clutch after clutch moment after clutch moment. Picks that were just needed. Wonderful stuff right there. Wow. I, I need to take a break from that. We, we will get a break in a second. I am going to remind you right now, we are going to have a prediction poll going. Do the Firebirds uh, force game number five? Do they force game five? Or is this where Lakeland stops it right now? We will be playing on Breeze right now when we get back. What was the score of that? 16 to 18. Oh, Goodness gracious. Oh, <laughs> what a long match. And we got more in store. And if you're a Firebird fan, you know we got a lot more in store because we'll be seeing map number five. Thank you guys for watching so much so far. And we will be back in another few minutes.
and we are back with the map uh, map four for the finals i this is getting insane tonight oh and we're starting this off on breeze firebirds will be attacking, attacking. first <laughs> You know, we have a nice little cheat sheet over there if you ever get confused. I can't read that. Oh, shoot. You're blind. I forgot. My bad. Oh, no. <laughs> and you're right. The Super Bowl halftime show probably is shorter than this. But guess what? I'll tell you what. Out of the last 10 Super Bowls I've watched, I think probably only about two have been as entertaining as this match so far. So oh, most definitely. It has been neck and neck, especially the last two maps. I, this has been insane. My mind is just... It's gone. I'm a full ADHD. Yeah, and you mode. know, this is exactly what you're looking for <laughs> in a championship. You're looking for those neck and necks, the team just giving an inch and taking a mile if they can, but being stopped immediately. And so, real quick, let me get the lineups to you on Breeze. We got Soren on Viper. We got Abing on Cypher. He's been a devious Cypher. As we get round number one going, we got. Nugget on Jet, we got Hanson Man on Sky, and Ethan on Sova, the double initiators, Sentinel Duelist and Controller for Lakeland, and for Carthage, we have Hoax on Jet, Coney on Chamber, Slumdank on Viper, Kaleoff on Sova, and Happy Samoyed rocking the KO, double initiators as well. Happy oh. Samoyed and Nugget both all right, Happy Samoy takes out Nugget and Kaleoff takes out Handsome Man to start off. Oh, whoa, whoa, Round number one, one hoax the oh, one oh, heart oh, warrior. Soren will get slum dank. Spike has been grabbed. I don't know if Hoax knows he has the spike. It needs to get planted. Alright, and Hoax is there going for go. that plant now. Oh dear. Last player standing. And host goes down just as it gets planted. Now it's up to Happy Samoyed. And there oh, it is. There we the go. finds him through the smoke to start off. Map four, match point for Lakeland with a bang. That was a really nice defensive game for Lakeland and oh, a great retake. All right, the Firebirds trying to look for something here as the Muskies are able to full buy. Firebirds are going to go with the save, get themselves set up for a full buy next round. Hopefully they win this one, though. Really mess up that economy game. Not have it be so uh, pattern based. Oh, most definitely. Looks like Firebirds are going to be rocking with the classics, a ghost and a shorty. Recon arrow does not find any of the firebirds. They leave the spike toward middle there as they push up through elbow and main. Coney left to take care of the spike. Slumdank will go back and retrieve it. Firebirds playing a little slowly in main right now. Hoax has the opportunity to still dash on site. There is a trip wire right there. <laughs> the flare is the worldwide. Oh my gosh, just waiting for one team to finally peek. Hoax is there. Can he get the oh alt fire off? He cannot. Soren will get hoaxed. The rest of the firebirds continue their push toward B. Coney. Waiting in the flank. Nugget is there and will get the pick on Coney. 30 seconds remain. 30 seconds left. Soren will get happy Samoyed now. And now they're finally down goes Soren, but A Bank now is gonna get Slumdank. 1v4 scenario for the Firebirds here. As Kaleoff must do the impossible, has to reload. Tough spot, and Nugget will finish it off. Firebirds go down 2-0 on map number four. We're seeing great defense so far. For for Lakeland, it has been insane, but this is the round where the Firebirds need to kick it up a notch. To give a quick recap of everything that's happened so far, in map number one, we played on Bind, and Lakeland uh, won that 13 to six. 
Map number two was Icebox. It went to overtime, but the Firebirds closed it out 14 to 12. And then we just had a third map thriller on Pearl, excuse me, which went 18 to 16 in favor of Lakeland. They only need to win one more map to close out the Emergence Championship. Kaylee off able to get the tag there, but Hoax is going to get taken down. Coney can't get the flank as Hanson Man gets the shot. Kaylee off will take care of A Bank. And Kaylee off will get another. Kaylee off will be taken out by the flank, though. Slumdank now working alone. Hopefully, Slumdank can clutch up right now. now have complete view of Slumdank. Slumdank may now just play to try and keep the Vandal. It'll be tough to see what they choose to do. And there's the pick by Nugget. Lakeland wants it, folks. They're coming out hot. They go up 3-0 in map number four. Just amazing defense. <laughs> All as much as what I got to say. That's going to be really bad for the Firebirds. Nugget now getting set. Does seem like Lakeland will be full buying. The Firebirds are forced to save now. They're going to be buying two Marshals, a Sheriff, a Stinger, and keeping the Classic. I believe we had a, uh, a poll going over the break of player of the match so far. I believe the results came in that the player of the match is the bingo card. Yes! Abink will get Hoax to start it off. Hanson Man gets Slumdank. And I think if you lose this one, if you're the Firebirds, you call a timeout. Oh, most definitely. Oh! Ooh, Hanson Man, I don't know about that shot there. I would have given it to you, Kaylee off. But Handsome Man playing their angles extremely well. Now it's up to Happy Samoyed and Coney. Happy Samoyed creeping on up. Coney waiting for the flash. They got to get to that spike. 45 seconds remain. Waiting for that flash from Happy Samoyed. And there's Happy Samoyed getting one. Oh my gosh, and the, we got a strafe battle going on right here. And oh, the winner will actually be Ethan with the shock dart. And Happy Samoyed wow. will fall to A bank there as the Firebirds go down 4 0. We calling timeout? I would. Nah, it doesn't seem like we're going to get it. All right, we move on okay. to number five. Firebirds are going to full buy there. Ooh, peaceful. They're going to hopefully try and start a little bit of a comeback here before this game slips away. Nugget will be buying the operator for this round, so this is going to be even more deadly. So I've recently been told we need to look at this, this little green light on the mic, because when we get too much into the yellow, we start to break it. And then the chat can't hear us anymore which is apparently a bad thing if your job is a commentator. <laughs> so we just gotta keep an eye on that because you see that last one? Yeah. That's red. And if we get to the red, it's a no-go. <laughs> Slumdank gets the pick on Hanson Man. It gets happy Samoyed. <laughs> oh. Valix says, oh no, Nugget with the op, we lost. You know, it is fair. Nugget has not really had the most success with the op tonight. I think sticking with the Vandal has been the most clutch opportunities for them. Ethan will get a shot on Kaleo. And the Firebirds will take their first round. Trying to get to the operator. Oh, just barely. Not quite able to do so, but the Firebirds will keep on rolling here.
I love that bear. I have to, I love, <laughs> loved that bear all season. Yeah, yeah, the bear's ready. Coney, go back. The bear's ready. Coney, go. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> we'll see it again, I'm sure. Get out of my way. All right, there's the flash mid from Sky. Hoax now using the ultimate. Trying to see if anyone will fall into his crosshairs. There's three knives left. Oh, the shock darts don't do anything. We see the dash now. And Kaleoth will get Hanson Man. Alright, one knife left. Has to be a headshot. And now, left without a weapon is hoaxed, as they will just try and create some space. Oh dear. Oh, nice shot. Oh, I thought you could, could destroy the hat before I get the hat. <laughs> Fair enough, Abing clutching up once again wow. for Abing wants it. He wants it right <laughs> now, and I'm seeing him play out of his mind. Yeah, they don't they definitely do not want a repeat of the last map. <laughs> don't want to force that game five firebirds This is where you got to find it in yourself See what you can do differently on the strategies and there's the timeout All right, so the timeouts active You know, I <clears throat> excuse me. I think you're hoping coach Wes has figured out something that maybe you haven't yet um What do you think that is because I'll be real I, I don't think I'm spacing I've most definitely spacing is that there these opportunities of just blanking and just having good positioning on sites is that we're we're barely getting anything we're not using as much of the map to our advantage as we can i think that is where the firebirds need to need to kick it up a little bit and yeah, we got min mouse saying firebirds sit down bro sit down well i mean they're not gonna do that you know, would you just sit down in the in the in the finals of your your playoffs? <laughs> nah, just it wouldn't fit with their character arc, you know. <laughs> uh, and so, I think that's definitely not what Wes is telling them right now. Though, nice try once again by an LU, uh, but that is strictly just an L for you instead. Oh no. Um, and so, yeah, the Firebirds do need to start watching that flank. Thank you, Two Can Four One One, for giving me that bit of analysis. I've been. I won't lie, I think I'm starting to get, uh, that's, that's true. Toucan, get over here and get in the casting booth, because we, we need you, okay? Uh, everyone go look at the chat and look at what Toucan is saying, that's what we should be saying. We're just a little dazed after three straight maps. Firebird's gonna push up through mid. What about you, Maysumi? You're out here saying that Nugget can op when we clearly know he can't. <laughs> LU on top. We'll see. We'll see. They're looking good right now. Firebird's trying to force it. We get it uh, changed back to not our faces. We got gameplay going oh, on. Oh, wow. We got some good gameplay going on from Hanson, man. I think we're having a little bit of an issue with it. We'll try and get back to it as soon as we can. Nugget and Happy Samoid, or sorry, Coney and Happy Samoid getting two picks off of that. Play. All tied up at 3-3. Three, three. All right, Happy Samoid is now in the post plan along with Hoax, but Hoax is on very low health. Coney will get a nice pick on a Bank. That's going to leave there one no. the Thrifty. We haven't had one of those in a while, and we'll cross that one off our little... Uh, our little bingo card. We hear some cheers in the back. Love to hear it. All right, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting a little, we're getting a little, little dicey in the chat here. Let's relax. It's still a good, fun competition. Yeah, check out that flank watched by Toucan. There we go. There we go. Firebird's now going to push toward B site, probably through elbow, probably a couple going through main. Which bingo card? Your bingo card, Maysumi. Your bingo card. We have transferred over to yours. So hold up. Is Thrifty even on here? He 
The OGs aren't on there? Oh, where's... Well, I mean, they got some good ones still, like Ethan on Ethan Action, and Nugget does it again. <laughs> We're just waiting for that bit of contact. A lot of util just being dumped. You know, I, I don't know who Toucan is, but they're officially my favorite person. You need to just listen to every word Toucan says. Oh, Nugget finds Kate. Nugget does it again. <laughs> Happy Samoyed will get Hanson Man there. Oak's now starting to pull up. Gonna run into Soren. And oh. Soren will win that fight, but Happy Samoyed will get Nugget along the way. We're gonna see the alt there by Slumdank. Happy Samoyed will get Ethan. Slumdank playing a little rat spot. Happy Samoyed's got four. Looking for one more. And there it is! Oh, my happy Samoyed! Finishing it off. He's got aimbot. There we go. That's, the That's another bin. ace. <laughs> if we're looking at our old bingo card. That's two that in the books, two, and that's but, what we wanted. But here's our new one. So and let's here see what we, we go got for so another far. timeout. Oh, all right, cool. This is the perfect time for us to catch up on our new bingo card. So let's see. In the top left, we have. The classic ace, that's crossed off. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> While you work on that, I think mainly for the Firebirds, they've been a lot better of having good map flow. Taking over mid has been a, a lot better for them. So hopefully they can keep that pressure on to uh, Lakeland. So yeah, what do you think Lakeland is talking about right now, trying to switch it up? You know, Lakeland, I think, just does a great job of... Uh, Stopping when the Firebirds just start getting momentum mm -hmm. and trying to shut that down as soon as possible. So I, I I'm not quite sure what is uh, what they're talking about in this one. To be honest, uh, maybe one thing is like you know they're starting to watch the flanks. Be aware of that. Maybe we'll start seeing more than one person on the flank, uh, so we can get that trade and still have one person always following the flank. We'll see. Yeah. And so I really, really will be who, who's going to make more mistakes. So let's see. If we were to go through our full match real quick while well, this is still in pre-round, we have a classic ace. Do we have a team ace on eco? I don't think we have a team ace on eco. Do we had an ace clutch? Uh, no, not quite. Knife kill, no. Lineup, Larry, we have had. Nugget does it again. Well, yeah, we've had that a lot. <laughs> Wait, there was an ace clutch. Oh, was there? Oh, then we have the ace clutch. And... Firebirds get the bomb down. 40 seconds are left. There's the flank. It's a lot of them on the flank this time. Hoax gets Nugget. Happy Samoyed is waiting. He'll get one. 3v2 now in favor of the Firebirds. Hoax waiting for another peek. Damn. And there's the dual kill by Happy Samoyed and Hoax. To bring it within one, we got ourselves a map on our hands. All right, we're heading to round 10. Firebirds finally found their rhythm. Hopefully they can keep it up. All right, and uh, well, now we've got more time to go after this bingo thing again. We got Ethan on Ethan action. We've had that. We've had whiffs. Too many. Op crutch. Haven't seen an op crutch yet. Maybe, maybe if we saw a few more shots out of our boy Nugget on the op, we'd see an op crutch. Whole team flank, we did see that on Pearl. Free space, we got that one. The classic right click being broken. I don't think we've done that one yet. We have seen an Aries. Not seen a, a, a ridiculous classic right click. But let's get back to the action here. We got the plant going down as Host gets Soren. We should be able to bring back Happy Samoyed, and we do. Coney brings back Happy Samoyed and teleports out. Firebirds do a great job of setting themselves up now for the post-plant scenario. Here. 
Cole oh, just can't quite land the shot. But there we Slum go. Deck is there to trade it. Happy Samoyed gets the nugget. 5v2 so far. Slum Deck with the lineup oh, as it flies no. on over. <laughs> And there we go. The Firebird should have locked down this round with some guns in tow. And they get another pick for their troubles on a bit. <laughs> Firebirds tie it up five to five. There we go. Two more rounds till the end of the half. Shorty only. Have we seen an entire team go shorty only? I know we've seen, I we've seen a lot of shorties. I'm yeah. seen shorty only. Oh, we've seen overtime. We can cross that one off. <laughs> a few times. Chat goes down bad. Chat, have you been down bad for anyone yet? Uh, I, we'll get back on that. Commentators being biased. Duh. Have that one. We start round number 11 here. Who's going to break this little tie we got going? A lot of control mid. Firebirds are just going to chill in the back. We are going to see... We're going to see Lakeland really try and take space here and control as much of the map as they can. Hoaxed has made it all the way through tube to the back of sight. Just needs to watch out for Sova now. Handsome Man will get Slum Deck. One more shot is all it takes, and Hoaxed will get it. Hoaxed gets Ethan. 40 seconds left on the spike. 4v3. Pony now is going to peek. Happy Samoyed gets Hanson. Abink gets Hoaxed, though. One left, and it's Abink. Abink's been there to clutch before. We'll see if he can do it again. There's the positioning. Kalioth trying to switch it up immediately. Hey, we're trying, guys. I'm sorry, we're tired. We're college students. <laughs> 19 health finals left. coming up. And oh, I thought that was gonna be it. And there there we go. the attacker win as Kaleoff puts him ahead in game four. Last round before the switch. There we go, last round. All right, you know what, Miskabon, for you, for you, we're back, we're back. The energy's there. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, I might have just cracked the mic. Yep, it did the red thing. That's on me. That's on me. It's on me. We'll talk really quietly. We'll talk, we'll talk super quiet. Caster's ASMR. Caster is. I'm not doing Caster ASMR. <laughs> we'll get the little Vega chips and go. No, don't crinkle the, don't crinkle the Cheetos. As we head into the final round of the half. Oh, it is the final round of the half already. Time flies. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. We have a bingo actually on this new sheet. <laughs> it looks like the. Viper Spit's gonna be used immediately on B. Firebird's pushing mid. Alright, Kaleoth trying to find something mid. A bank there makes some contact. No one hits a shot. Roast of Bananas, can we actually get the ASMR cast? <laughs> Hoax gets the pick on Hanson, man. Oh, sorry, Hoax gets the pick on Hanson, man. Moon goes out for Kalia. Hmm, listen to the sound of that shotgun. Happy Samoyed now. Get the pick on Nugget. <laughs> Coney will now get a bank. And the Firebird is just left. Firebird should have complete control of the site. It's wow. now left. It's left to Sonin to have to clutch. Hoax there, showing what a jet can really do with an op. Welcome to my world. Viper's pick goes out a little and, bit. And Soren Sor gets the first one, though, on Hoax. Soren probably, yeah, probably should have left to the op. Oh, what a, what a, what a quick, what quick little flick there on, uh... What a, what a quick little flick on, 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 the, on, the, on, the, on the recon dart. Soren now getting flashed has the operator. Oh, Kaleoff oh, almost finished it. Flash oh once again. Down goes the toxin. Viper's pick goes down. And there's there the finish by Kaleoff. What that a round is the by the end Firebirds. of the first half. Snaps all around. Snaps all around. <laughs> that was awesome. Firebirds are up seven to five now. <laughs> 
Seven to five for the Firebirds. We head, in, head into the second half. Firebirds got to play some defense here. Their tournament lives are on the line. They're trying to force game number five. Can they do it within the next 12 rounds? Let's see. We always know the first round of the half is always the most intense. We're hoping to see a lot of aggression from Lakeland. Ooh, five ghosts. Five ghosts. Plus Not five shorties, ghosts. though. We need five shorties still. <laughs> I'm now invested in this bingo that 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 my uh, that Maysumi has made for us. No, maybe they should they should probably get a patent on that, a copyright. They are. Oh, don't do it before they do. <laughs> don't steal their idea. I was just making sure That's I'm saying their, their name right. Property. They gave me the pronunciation. I'm not gonna mess it up after they give me the pronunciation. <laughs> it seems like Lakeland will be pushing almost completely through tube. They've got three going tube, two going main still. Coney waiting on top of the pyramid. That's not gonna be a a viable chamber spot after this next patch. <laughs> His chamber is getting really hidden to being a sentinel. All right, and you gotta run away now. You get immediately into the flash. Whoa! Kaylee off with one. Soren will get two. Now we're into the one, the two v two now for the Firebirds against the low health Lakeland. One enemy remaining. One to beat is Happy Samoyed gets Soren. They now know where the last one is hiding. As Ethan is up there. Happy Samoyed and Slumdank <laughs> will creep around, there slither in like the Viper he is, and take care of him. Firebirds go up by three. That's a good start. I think that might be the first time we won the first one. You know, I it, I wasn't going to say it. anything, but I do think that is either the first or second time the Firebirds <laughs> have won the first round of the half. Right here. Right here. Oh, yeah. Whoa, my gosh. I didn't even see in the chat. Only only going on four hours. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Full stream. Full stream. Subathon. Subathon is in, in effect. <laughs> That's a good spot. <laughs> No, I had a group project I had to do. Yeah, you were supposed to be there at 8. Yeah. <laughs> That's an oops. Oopsies for the group. Send them the link to the stream. You'll oh, see why you couldn't be there. I know. I hope they're not mad. <laughs> Happy Samoyed starts it off with the pick on Ethan. It's a great start if you're the Firebirds to get that first blood of the round. Oh, dear. Oh, and Whoa. the pick by Kaylee off as a bank will trade it away. Off. Firebirds have the numbers advantage by one as the muskies will retreat through elbow maybe creep back up firebirds are starting to creep up and take in as much space as they can happy some way turn around stop struggling with the box you got to turn a binks there <laughs> coney now midfield and we see two on b site a bank has just got a peek and a bank does not peek Oak still locking down a site as that anchor. We will see the plant now. 45 seconds is on the clock. Slumdank will get the first one. Two more to go. There goes all the smokes minus the cypher cages. Nugget. There we go. Will Nugget do it again? No, not this time. As the Firebirds go up, we'll go up nine to five. Working nine, nine to five. five. What, what a way to make a living, belly. Get in by. We're gonna get copyright struck. Oh, we're too close to the original. Working eight, two, three. Teleport's ready. Still a way to make a living. <laughs> <laughs> Firebirds go up by four now. I love that song. I want to sing some more. And there's the there we go. called by Ethan. All right. So wow. Chat, I do not know if this will turn. Let me see. Is this going to be backwards when I show it up here? Oh, there's the camera. Is it backwards? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Whoa. So there's our new bingo board, courtesy of uh, courtesy of Mesumi, right there. And pending. And there is what we've got of it so far. We got a lot of X's crossed off already. We have technically one bingo in the diagonal. We're looking for more. And that diagonal bingo is line up Larry, a whiff, our free space, <laughs> overtime, and then ring around the road. Wait, didn't we already get line up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's our bingo. We have oh, so gosh. Far. That's our bingo like, so far. There's no way that we didn't get a line up Larry. <laughs> I 
I am now being informed that I'm an idiot because of that's not backwards. So of course, if I showed you something, it wouldn't be backwards. <sighs> I'm tired, Sean. I'm tired, Sean. <laughs> Here we go, though. Oh, uh, time out over. We're heading into round number 15. Firebirds look to extend their lead. They're on a save, though, half by. Yeah, I'm wondering what Lakeland will be doing to switch this out. It looks like they're they're all in that little corner of A. Oh no, the, the, the snake bite bounces right off the owl drone. <laughs> what an oopsie. Oh, it looks like Firebirds are flanking around. Nice job by Slum Dank. Holy cow, to dodge that full flash. Hope now flanks, hits two. But Abing oh, wow. always there to clutch up. <gasps> nice trick shot there by Kaylee on six health left and the Firebirds will take another. My voice is losing it. That was, wow, that was the bonus. That was the bonus. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Firebirds turning it around on Breeze. They want map number five. They want to play Fracture for the first time this season. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, they do. Otherwise, we're done. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> I don't like Fracture. Fracture's weird. Fracture is weird, and it's going to be fun to see. It's so weird. 10 to 5. But look at look at this map. It's so tropical. What a vacation. Firebirds stack one evenly across the map as we see the muskies roll on through elbow. Yeah, I'm loving this time around. They're not doing that aggressive strat that did, that they did last time. Happy Samoy gets one. Oh, the hand two. two with that immaculate spray control. Happy Samoy, they're still on your booty. Oh, and they <laughs> run away. You know, you start to think, is Lakeland getting too comfortable knowing that they have that extra life? Ethan will get slum dank there. Firebirds have the better guns. They should be able to handle handle this one. And the plank goes down. Forty five seconds is on the clock for the Firebirds to defuse. Oh, Kaylee! There we go. Happy, Happy Samoy, wanting that ace. There goes the fragment. Doesn't quite get over the rail. Ethan will get Coney now. Happy Samoy one gets more. one. There's one more left. They're playing lineup. And the ace, the third one of the night. All three by Firebirds, correct? Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. Chat, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. No, I, I think, think one think came it. from Lakeland. Maybe. Either way, three aces on the night. Crazy. <laughs> is that a third bingo on the old? Oh, wait. On the old one, the S. That is... Oh, one that, more teammate. Oh, we need one more teammate. Wait, no, I, I think we I think we did get that. I'm going to say I'm three. It's, it's three. been a long night. It's we been a long that. night. Yeah, you know what? Patting myself on the back. Third, third bingo of the night. Look at that. Wicked. We go crazy. <laughs> Firebirds, two away from forcing game five. Here we go. See what they're going to pull this time. Looks like two mid. Going up the Raptors in two... Nugget Ooh. will get Happy Samoyed to start it off. Hoax can't quite land the shot. Oh my goodness, Hoax almost gets hit. Again, <laughs> and again, with that Sova ultimate. Kony gets one. Firebirds even up the numbers. We're seeing a very, very spread out team here. Oh! Slumdang can't quite get that one as the gun took too long to come out. 55 seconds. And there there's Coney getting another. Kalioth waiting. This should be a trade regardless. Not quite oh. able to. As Soren will get Kalioth. But extremely low. Hoaxed will follow it up though. 2v2 on B site. Plank goes for B. Oh, we're hoping for a game five here. It'll be a tough force here. Oaks now entering site. 
There's one waiting. A bank on the side now, flanking behind. Will the Firebird see? Oh, who will oh. be seen first? Oh, and there it is. A bank gets the trade, and what a shot! No one else to do this. Oh, a bank. Oh. I mean, hey, we're, we're we're on the edge of our seats there with that pros. <laughs> Don't fake there. But a bank once again denying the Firebirds as he has all night continues to deny them match point and i love that we're seeing it from a cypher because you rarely get to see cypher players nowadays and look at that being the top frager for lakeland on this map 15 12 and 3 Man. absolutely wicked what i tell you things go crazy when happy, happy samoid gets crazy. 24 kills <laughs> things go crazy when happy samoid goes crazy Looks like Lakeland's sneaking around to a site. Tony just waiting up there. Gets the first pick and is able to get out of there. What a great advantage Coney has just given his team. Is able to use their ultimate. There goes the Viper's Pit. Viper's Pit is going to be tough to play around. It looks like the Firebirds are flanking from behind. We will see Kaleoth using the ultimate. Coney gets Ethan there. Kaleoth now flinging the Owl Drone into the Viper's Pit. Down goes Kony with Soren oh. as A Bank will get Slumdank. 3v3 now. Oaks will get it. One left. It's just Viper. Can Viper clutch up? Oh. Gets one. Can they get them all? Oh, no, they go. can't. As it should have been enough time, yes it will, as the circle had not formed yet. Firebirds will take this oh, and put it to there half we go. point. Whoo, that way was Soren was was very close to clutching up there. Oh yeah, that was very scary. Alright, Firebirds have put it on match point. It's a long road to overtime, but if you're Lakeland, this is where you want to step up. This is where Frankly, I need to see more out of Nugget right now than I've been seeing. Mm -hmm. Nugget is that guy for Lakeland tonight. And and, and while A-Bank has been filling in well, I really don't think the performance is going to go off the bar until Nugget starts performing again. Mm -hmm. And this one's going to be scary because they can't, not all of them can full buy. Some of them are going to have to improvise. Looks like they're going to be pushing to B-Site. Viper's Pit is immediately activated. All right, there we have Slumdank using the Viper's Pit, just trying to deny that space. And taking a lot of time with them. Thorin, moving up through tube though. Looking dangerous over there on that <laughs> half of the map. There goes the Owl Drone. No, oh, no. We'll get Slumdank. Ask and I shall receive as Nugget starts to turn up. Nugget gets another. Spike planted. Did you? Can you shoot the shock dart in midair? I don't know. Right here. That sure did seem like it. Uh. Nugget gets oh. another. Nugget going for the ace. Kaleoth will get Nugget though. Firebirds 2v4. Gets one. Able to half it and get out of there. Can't quite hit the shot though. Oh. And they force another round here as Soren clutches up. There we go. With the help of Nugget, of course. As always, match point is the hardest round to win. Absolutely it is. And looks like Firebirds, I don't know if they can full buy this. Oh, it looks like they're gonna... Looks I like think they're they gonna want it. it here. They want it here. Hoax is gonna use their ultimate. Ooh, this is getting scary. Ooh -hoo. Seven to 12 right here. Firebirds. I think if they want any chance of this, they really do need to make sure they 
stop it before overtime. Mm-hmm. This time they're going to be electing to go A. I have retrieved the spike. I've got your trail. A match point is definitely a mental game, and we're going to see who is more mentally strong going into this one. Spike already gets down as they rush a site extremely well. I'm sure we got to line up Larry on the opposition, so we're, we're going to have to get... Nice That's shot there one. by Hoax. We are going to have to get to Viper quickly. Oh, that's going to help with Larry. There we have it. We have the body block coming in from Happy Samoyed. Oh, way to watch the flank by Kaleoth. Firebird's trying to come on in here. There we go. Uh -oh. They will. We're seeing Matt number five in the Emergence Midwest Championship. <laughs> Absolutely wicked. You can see the team going map. crazy out there. They're excited. I need to rest my voice for a minute. So we're gonna go we're gonna go to break pretty quickly. We'll be back in just a few.
Ten teams entered the Emergence Midwest Division after the long season eight made the cutoff for playoffs. And out of those eight, we are left with two standing after three weeks of playoffs. Lakeland University has had an uphill battle the entire time, fighting first against Purdue, the number four seed. Then last week in the semis, having to take down the number one seed, Augustana, just to make it here, to meet the Carthage Firebirds, the number three seed, who started their playoff run against number six, SIUE White, beating them in two. Then they went on to beat CSP Gold, the number two seed, in three. And now we're here after a night of back and forth with the Firebirds losing on Bind, winning on Icebox, losing on Pearl, winning on Breeze. We are here for game five. Woo! FC Emergence Midwest Championship. Firebird on attack. Game five, winner take all. Happy Samoyed creeping up through the back is KO. For the Firebirds, we have KO, Fade, Brimstone, Chamber, and Breach being played by Hoaxed. Uh, A Bink starts it off. And for the Lakeland Muskies, here we go. We have Breach, Cypher, Brimstone, Neon, and Fade. To start it off, Muskies take round one. What an intro. Thank you. I'm Shady very proud so of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Game one. I mean, uh, game five, round one, goes in favor of of the Lakeland Muskies here. Firebirds trying out a new composition. I know not many teams have uh, have had experience on Fracture this mm -hmm. season, including the Firebirds here. A good thing to note, it is one of the weirdest maps of all time. There is a rope that extends from two points of attacker spawn. So the technique, oh, whoa. Oni starts it off quick for the Firebirds, <laughs> utilizing that back point, allowing the rest of his team to sneak under B site. They run into Ethan, oh, who dear. takes out Kalioth and Host. Slumneg does get the trade, though. 3v3 in effect now as Happy Samoyed pushes toward A site. He'll be taken out by Soren, who's waiting over on the side. All right, here we go. It's up to Slumdank. Slumdank and Coney. 2v3 <laughs> scenario. They're going to inch toward B-Site through the back entrance. Sneaking along. As I was saying, though, there's four main entryways that the attackers can pick. Almost like reversal of what Pearl is. And there's a really weird defense. Uh, yeah, the uh, defense is set up in the yeah. middle of the map <laughs> instead of uh, at the back or the front. The way I like to play it is taking over that defender spawn when you're on attack, and then you got access to many different ways of how to play. So 20 seconds left. I 
I don't know we'll if they see, can we'll make see it. if they can make it. They're gonna make something happen. They will run into Soren. It will be a fight they have to win immediately. Smoke. That smoke's gonna be of great help, but Soren's got a counter smoke of his own. They're gonna fall into him. <laughs> and round two will go to Soren and the Muskies. That's a good band name. Soren and the Muskies. <laughs> And with that, Firebirds do get to buy this round, so this is the best opportunity that they have to at least get on the scoreboard. <laughs> Firebirds having some fun, taking the zip lines back and forth. You know, they don't see this map very often, so, you know, they're just having, having a little bit of fun out there. It's one of the best parts of this map, and I love utilizing them as much as I can. Firebirds now Whee! moving for that full push of B site through long. We got the lane right back out. Sean's having fun over there. Tactical time. Oh, we're seeing it all slowed down by the breach. Ethan then throwing the C's. And there is the Molly to also follow it up and slow everyone down. Bunch of Utah being used. Let's see if they can make some progress once that smoke goes away. Firebirds and the muskies both escape unscathed from that skirmish there. Now the firebirds are regrouping here. Listening to what the IGL Kaleoth thinks. They're going to try and maybe fake the rotate. 45 seconds left. Oh wow, just getting bombarded. Hopes will start it off though with the first pick. Then Nugget will get two. Interesting how both of our Oh own... dear. Wow. Very well played by the Muskies. Interesting how a breach was picked by both our uh, you know our fraggers. Yeah. The match. What's most interesting is that with this map, you don't really want to push five man to a side. At least that's from what I see, is that I always like uh, having two people going from one angle and the other three going from the other. Or doing a quick squad there, someone going out to the other side and taking control mm -hmm. of defender spawn. There's so many ways to play this, but all going five man in that one corridor, it's just really going to be tough with a breach, with a neon, and uh, with a fade as well. So we'll see what the Firebirds can do as they have fade going from the front of A site and the rest of the team marching in through the back. They will run into Cypher there on drop, waiting there, has the camera open, just waiting to see him. That's a great play from Abank. Abank though gets the camera shut down. There oh! It's going to make Abank move. Abank will get hoaxed in the process. Hanson Man now trying to get some space on site, and the Firebirds are once again stuck in a weird little skirmish here. Pony places the teleport. A Bink finds another. There's the teleport from Coney. Nice little headshot there from Happy <laughs> ah! Samoyed. Trying to even up those numbers any way he can. 40 seconds. Firebirds trying to get on site, but they're going to be attacked from both sides. Coney gets the headshot. A Bink is there. Slumdag taken out. It's up to Happy Samoyed. Don't give the ace. There, there we go. There's the headshot. That's the spike, and it's a 1v1 now. Has the Vandal in hand. Going to be blind. It's going to be a tough one. There's the flash. No idea if it got him. No idea where they are. Now has a chance. It's a clutch by Happy Samoyed to keep the Firebirds in it to start it off. Mark it. That's new on the bingo sheet. Our bingo sheet, by the way. We we get that there's two now going on. The OG. <laughs> oh, that is really well done by Happy So. Oh, wait. Wait, was that Happy? No. Yeah, so it was Happy Samoyed. That was Happy Samoyed. <laughs> Very well done. What a clutch there. We are heading into round number five now. Firebirds only down by two. Lakeland, though, looking strong on defense here on play. Fracture. We will see the ultimate being used by the Firebirds here. Coney trying to get that early peek. Won't find anyone. 
Instead, there will be some wall bang shots put through the door as Handsome Man drops down from rope. Pokes now at drop. Will be smoked off. Happy Samoyed turning around. I like this from the Firebirds. Get him to mm -hmm. expend a lot of util on one site and then start rotating to another one. Yeah, this map is extremely flexible for both sides. Because if you can take over any attacker spawn, it's, it's free reign as well. Especially access to those ropes, even though it's not used too much. I still love to use, using it. <laughs> Seems like they might actually fake that rotate just to draw more people off site. And the Firebirds are going to push back toward A again. Happy Samoyed will use their ultimate. They will suppress anyone over on the right side. They get Neon. Neon is waiting right through. Happy Samoyed's about to be hit on the left. Oh, right when it ended as well. There's the ultimate from Brimstone. Doesn't work out. Coney gets a pick on Hanson. Coney now looking just to see if anyone else will try and peek. Oaks gets another pick there. 3v2 now for the Firebirds. One more to beat. I mean, two more to beat. Oh, oh my gosh, I was actually just prophesizing one more to beat and it's a bank though the frankly the most clutch player of the match so far and oh, not no. this time as oh, kaylee off will someday. finish it off <laughs> our little lineup larry <laughs> wanted to ensure that we were winning this one firebirds bring it within one they're not gonna let this one get out of reach this is what the season has led up to for sure and it looks like this is a great opportunity to get ahead we're seeing for Lakeland, a Vandal, two Sheriffs, a Shorty, and a Stinger. So great opportunity for the Firebirds. We'll see a split push. I like this. Get that info going toward both sites and on both ends of the map. Oh, I'm playing a little bit more aggressively over on the A side. Folks just trying to bait some people, make them stay. That Prowler finds someone and makes them fall back just a little bit. Gives up that space. Firebirds have yet to make a full decision. Happy Samoyed and Coney are going to start rotating toward the back now. We'll see Slumdank and Hoaxed starting to move toward A site and they back off once again. Hoaxed now looks toward B long. I'm loving how much util the Firebirds are starting to get expended. Because Flash. And they enter sight now. Ethan and Happy Samoyed get a trade. There we go. Slumnet gets sore in there. Coney set sets up the teleport anchors at the back of the point while Slumnet is able to get the spike down. 4v3 in favor of the Firebirds right now. Coney's got the teleport anchor, the one escape route. Firebirds are trying to tie this one up in game five right now. About 35 seconds left on the clock. It's going to be a oh, tough here. one. Coney gets the shot, but A-Bank immediately trades. Oh, Lumdak goes down now. It's up to Hoaxed. Hoaxed and Kaleoth are left. Kaleoth waiting on sight. Come on. That's one. Hoaxed gets one. There it is, the clutch. So Firebirds fun. tie it up in game five. And we hear some cheers in the back too. Hey, you know, I love hearing the crowd, man. The, the land environment is just electric out there. I'm loving it. 3-3 three, three in game five. Firebird's able to full buy. Muskie's able to full buy. It's going to come down to who makes the first mistake in this one. Looks like Shaddy said we've officially crossed the five-hour stream mark. Oh my gosh, this, we really? Yeah. We've been I, doing it for five hours. Let's go. I think this might be the longest I've sat in this chair. This has to be the longest I've sat in this chair. Oh, I, I usually commentate Rocket League. Those matches take 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> All right. Looks th this time they're electing to split three and two going to A site. There's the ultimate. It's going to take out most of the people chilling on that half of the site. It will get rid of a lot of util. That oh, is going to read hoax though well with that camera. Now we're waiting on Coney. Coney's dropped into, well, drop is what it's called. <laughs> and as we move forward, Happy Samoyed gets a pick on Hanson Man. Minute remaining. Just trying to pre-fire, make sure that everywhere is clear. Oh, okay. Later. That was a nice, Abink is really playing some <laughs> nice Valorant tonight. 
Mad props to him overall. Spike is Firebirds, landed. trade away another. 2v3. Soren is looking for that prowl on the, on oh, the uh, main. There's Slumdeck with one cool. pick. Can't quite get a second. Ah. <laughs> And the Firebirds will drop this round. Back in fourth we go in game number five. But that's all right. We still have a lot of econ to expend, so we'll probably get to full buy another round or two. Yes, I do believe uh, five. Sorry, I, I, we've said five so much. We're at five hours. I see Carthage Esports post in the chat. Five hours, 67 viewers. Love of Carthage, of college esports is real. And, you know, it, it does actually, it does warm my heart to see a college eSport. You know, I heard actually earlier we were number, like, in the top 20 for Valorant streams right now. Let's go! That's, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> like, I, it, it does leave me a little speechless to know that I, I could be a part of something like that. So I'm, 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 I'm grateful to all you guys watching. Uh, but let me get the sentimentalness now out of here. Misumi, <laughs> the love of Lakeland. That's facts too. You guys have not left this entire time. Firebirds splitting it up. A site has been where they've been more successful. Hanson man not able to uh, get a pick there. there oh, there they goes an ultimate, ultimate by Neon. Oh, gets taken out. <laughs> then we see the the fade ultimates countering each other. <laughs> Double spooky. <laughs> And here we go, hoaxed now and the rest of the team rotating toward B site. They think they've caught him off guard, but they haven't. Lakeland immediately understands it and reads it well. They are rotating immediately to the next site. Hoax staying at the oh, other yeah. site. He'll run into someone and he wins that gunfight against <laughs> Ethan. There's that Ethan on Ethan action. We'll cross <laughs> that one off. Put it on the bingo sheet. Put it on the bingo sheet. <laughs> Looks like quick rotate over to A, but Lakeland is also following suit. All right, and oh, Hoax just barely gets out of the range of that util. Fires a little more. 4-3 in favor of the Firebirds. Kaleoth does get the plant off. That another pick. Can't quite get Aiken. Slumdeck, though, able to just barely get out of the way. Hoax now gets another pick. Hoax really stepping up right now. There and there's the attackers. We're tied up 4-4. Neck and neck here in game five. Woo! We get to six hours. Do we get to six hours if we go to overtime enough times? <laughs> <laughs> we could. That would be exciting, but... Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's so many chat messages we've missed <laughs> just through that round. The love of Lakeland clutch. Love of Lakeland, absolutely. Lots of Lakeland love. Thank you for the strong casting. Well, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Normally, we never get viewers like this, so we're, we're, we're just happy to provide some entertainment to you tonight to as play. the uh, real Let's stars put play. on the show. We are going to see... The real stars. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. Papa! Papa Plonsk! Papa Ponsky! I do need canes, dude. I'm starving. Firebird's trying to do a quick little execute here on B site. Oh, wow. we're out. Two picks. Almost three. Coney's got the ultimate at the back of sight. Two more to go. Hey, Bink, though, coming in. That clutch, that ice in his veins, man. It's there. Firebirds looking for their first lead of the map. A bank coming through. Oh, Coney is waiting. Oh dear. Coney's waiting. We're in a standoff right now. Oh, oh he can't get it as A bank has the stinger. Hoax now tries to finish it and does so. It's hoaxed and Slumdank against. Oh, but Slumdank. There it is. <laughs> Finished up by hoaxed. I saw a slim dink right there already. Little lineup, Larry. Like, ah. ready. <laughs> there we go. We, we both just took a nice big <laughs> swig. Firebirds take their first lead of the series, five four. I don't think they'll run away with it anytime soon, though. This, I think, this will be neck and neck up until the bitter end. Oh yeah, and that just makes it even more exciting. <laughs> yeah, score check on Hoax. He's going nine and six right now. Whereas A Bank, 12 and 8. And Soren just very lightly behind him with 11, I think, and 8. Yeah, so we're seeing a lot of positive KDs from the top two on each team. 
Both uh -oh, of these are plus, plus five. Oh! Captain Lemoyd, though, takes Ethan out. Just egos that push right there and wins it. Soren does a nice job of putting this Molly on drop, but Kony's able to get out of there. Happy Samoy, this might be a great time to rotate that. Oh, look at that. Look who sneaked on in. We got Kaleoff sneaking into the middle toward the defender spawn there. <laughs> Just tell me I'm bad at Yu-Gi-Oh! It'll wake me up. Uh, if only that were true, Shaddy. If only that were true. Kaleoff, great job waiting on the rotate here. I love that the Firebirds are slowing this down. They're trying mm -hmm. to get them to rotate back to B so that Kaleoff can get that pick. It's all about those mind games. Great synergy right here by everyone. 35 Oh, seconds. geez, that is an ultimate that almost takes out Kony, and there's the counter to it. <laughs> In we go. Soren and Nugget, though, oh, handle dear. it swiftly. Happy Samoyed still in, and it's up to Kaleoth. I believe 20 seconds in a dream. Oh, oh, whoa. We don't talk about that. We don't like, don't. That, like that Bruno guy. We're not we're not going to talk about that. Oh, yeah. We don't talk about Bruno. We are tied up 5-5, five, five, though, as we enter round 11. Who will break the next tie we've got set for us? Let's see. Yeah, overall, I did like the pacing. It's just the just the final execution just didn't yeah. really get there and you know maybe maybe slowing down that pacing gives them a chance to kind of feel the nerves just a little bit there yeah whiff marked down you're darn right whiff marked down they <laughs> sue me there's the whiff that one's crossed off looks like the firebirds are going to be trying towards b this time around Hoax is trying to push for some some space. Neon's right above him. There it is. Doesn't slow anyone down. And then the Firebirds start to rotate off there. <laughs> Jumping around in the mud. <laughs> having a good time. Minute remain. There's the ultimate. I feel like we're seeing so many ultimates because everyone's being so productive with their util. Oh dear. A bank coming up clutch and Tony and Slumdank. Now it's down to it's down to Slumdank. The one v two scenario. He's got the spike. Is he gonna run all the way to the next site or is he gonna fake it? Interesting, interesting stuff we got to deal with here. Thirty seconds left. Firebirds waiting. Seconds. Oh, who's gonna push it? Who's gonna push it? Can he get it down and then still be able to shoot? Tether. On your right, ah. not quite able to. Nugget does it again. With the help of Fade there, as Ethan will get the defuse. Firebirds go down by one. Lakeland takes that lead again. We are just bouncing back and forth. <laughs> Good old game of ping pong. Couldn't have asked for a better one here in game five. All right, and a timeout has been initiated for the Firebirds. We do have the, yeah, the timeout by Coach West there. You know, maybe it's just uh, just shake up momentum, you know, reel mm -hmm. him back in. Maybe we're he's starting to notice some bad habits that, you know, our, our beautifully bronze eyes can't see. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, maybe he's just kind of reeling him back in, making sure it's okay. So, uh I think we're gonna be fine. I, think we'll be I hope fine. so. Yeah, I just think fine. just setting them up for uh, the end of the half and to uh, absolutely to get for the for the next half. I think this is really what this timeout was about. Um, so I'm excited to see what they're gonna pull for the for the final uh, um, final round in the half. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> help us break our record for the most viewers on stream. Call your mom, your grandpa, and second cousin. Tell them to come watch the stream. Yes, please do. Yes, please. You know what? I'm going to do it right now. Let's see here. We're sending out that the stream link to everyone I know real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, never mind. Too. I got an ad. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do that too. That works. 
Firebirds, they're all just waiting in spawn right now. We are getting that full default. We're going to make them waste some utility. Make them do something here. And now they push toward A. Nugget only has a little bit of health left, but Nugget util bombs that and Soren will get Kony. Great work there off the teammates as they synergize for that one. Minute 10 remain. Taking the ropes. Ooh, oh, that's a dear. tough one, and they will yeah. be found there on the ropes as there's <laughs> Happy Samoy throwing the throwing the fun face out. <laughs> the ropes, you know, I believe there is a uh, there is a clip there uh, in, in in the VCT. Yeah, did you guys see that in VCT? Yeah, there is a VCT clip where one of the pro teams tried to all just silently take ropes, and they were all completely wiped out. All right, for this next half, we're looking at nine ghosts on the board. The only one does not have it is Coney playing Chamber. So we'll see what happens here. Firebird's down by two. Oh, and we see Raising Canes in the chat. Let's go, Firebirds. Oh, that was the last of the of the half. All right, now, yeah. now Firebirds are on defense here. All right, all right, we make it happen. We make it happen here. Back to the pistols. We'll see what happens. Birds are splitting up three on B, two on A. I think the key here is making sure that the Firebirds don't all rotate too quickly. Mm -hmm. Soren gets Happy Samoyed to start it off. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, what a shot there by Kony. Can't get another. Hoaxed is there, though. 2v3. Last player standing. There's the blind. Oh, but has oh. to reload. You hate to see it. One left. They haven't planted yet. There's the chair. Holy cow, what a clutch by Hoaxed. You can hear them all screaming out there. We bring it within one once again. I, uh, uh, Holy whoa. cow. Wow. <laughs> Who gets the two dollars and fifty cents from that sub? I hope it's us. I hope so. <laughs> oh my gosh, hoaxed. Clipped out one for the fridge, indeed. The Firebirds win all by Tony. <laughs> I'm not for sale. <laughs> Firebirds down by one though, still. They are still trying to come from behind here. There's the flash! Oh, that's timed perfectly for oh, Firebirds! Oh, As Hoaxed will get two before Nugget trades him out. Slumdank now waiting. Gets pit, gets tags on everyone. <laughs> Coach Palmer is going savage in the chat. Coach, I'm trying to commentate. Stop it! <laughs> Firebirds in a 4v3 now. I got decent tags on two of them. Oh. Oh my gosh, just one tap on Ethan and then a couple more on Soren. Will they rotate? Will they fully rotate? They've got the time to if they do it now. <laughs> oh, just Kaleoth is holding the perfect angle. And there's the finish there. We're tied up 7-7. Seven, seven. It wouldn't stay that far apart for long. Not in game five. <laughs> Absolutely wicked. Let's, oh, and here we are with the time out for Lakeland. Perfect time to do it. Just to get that momentum. Yeah, just, and we again, hear the cheers. That momentum. Yeah, wow. You know, and that's. That's got to be a tough thing for Lakeland to hear. Upon, upon <laughs> see, looks, but beyond this is not going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Good thing we don't have to do. Yeah, goodness gracious. Thank goodness we don't got a bot review for this one. 
Oh, what an amazing night so far. I think this it is the really last has been. the last time we're going to get to talk. The last break we're going to get before the end. Uh, so. I think I think technically the Firebirds still yeah. have one more timeout. Oh, they do? They oh, do sweet. They have one more timeout in this half. Uh, one thing that has to be a lot of pressure, especially when you're playing a LAN, is for there. the Lakeland Muskies to have to hear that Firebirds crowd the moment oh, they take yeah. a timeout. Hear them just shouting and cheering. You know, I mean, it takes a lot of like ice to just chill and be mm -hmm. able to keep competing after all that. Well, you never know. I think like, at yeah, I, I know you guys can't mention that uh, you guys can't hear the cheers. I, I we can hear them. Yeah. Uh, just it's, trust it's electric. us. The mic's not that if, if the mic were that sensitive, we'd be blowing it out just by the way we talk and we're already blowing it out enough. So uh, <laughs> just trust. <laughs> we get started here. Round 15 is a go. Tied up 7-7. Seven, seven. Firebirds are stacking toward B site. We'll see just a full push on A and no one will be there to meet him. Get him to waste all that util. We'll play for retake. Handsome man accidentally uh, shocks himself. <laughs> Ethan now going from the top of site. Firebirds now beginning their retake. Ethan gets a nice pick on Happy Samoyed. And then immediately Kaleoth is able to get it after one more pick on Slumdank though. Tough scenario for the Firebirds. Hoaxed will go through. Can't get the pick. Nugget will get two. Now it's just Kaleoth left and Kaleoth gets one. 8-7 now in favor of the Muskies. This, this back and forth is just what we've been seeing all night. This is truly the final, final match. <laughs> It's truly something crazy we got going on right now. 8-7. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Shaddy said, what do you get when you cross a hippie with a ninja? Peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> he also asked for a joke from you. Oh, he can keep asking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Firebirds. Here we go. Spread out across the map. Maybe realize that last strategy wasn't the best one we've had. We now sit here. We're waiting for that first bit of contact. They're going to go under the B site. Try and come out through the back. Host waiting down main. Shock at the ready. He's going to slow them all down. Counter alt being used by Hoaxed. We'll get one at the back of sight. Oh, Hoaxed will get the first pick the of the ultimate. map. The fade alt cannot be used. Hoaxed will get taken out by Hanson Man. Nugget will take out Kony. Slumdank in a tough spot. Has to get out of there. Not quite able to do it. Now it's Happy Samoa in a 1v3. Come on, go, bubble now. gun for the win. We, we're just stalling for time now. Oh man, we're Bubble in the standoff. Gun. Bubble gun, come on. We're in the standoff right now. Firebirds not looking like they'll be able to take this one and they may take another two, uh, two round deficit. Ow. The Happy Samoyed will be taken out. 9-7 now in favor of Lakeland. What a map we've got for map five. Oh, I know it is. It's a weird one. <laughs> And we've seen some interesting tactics so far. It looks like this time Firebirds are going to be saving. Like to, to go a Marshal, two Marshals, Shorty, and a Sheriff, and one Classic. All right, here we go. Firebirds on that save. It, this would be a crucial one to win. You'd like to see it. Mm -hmm. You'd like to see them get a Thrifty right here. Coney had to get out of there quickly, though. They have to give up the space up top. Face your fear. There's the ultimate to try and take sight. Trying to slow him down. That's a lot of smokes being used. Firebirds trying to get to sight now. Spike trying to stop the bleeding, but the spike's already down. They're going to have to do it quickly. Oh. Abinks and Ethan each get a pick of their own. Hoax tries to get in there, but it's tough. Coney will finally get a pick. Oh. 
Coney able to get out there. Soren gets hoaxed. Now it's just Coney. 1v4. Tough scenario to be in. Especially on save there, and Ethan mm -hmm. will do it. You Lakeland fans, there was a lot of Lakeland screaming that you didn't hear <laughs> that time around. Woo. Oh, this is getting extremely scary. <laughs> All right, here we go. 10 to 7 right now. Firebirds can't let it slip away. They got to get in there right now. All right, here we go. Firebirds stacking three toward B site. They're gonna, the muskies are gonna elect to go under. I think it's really gonna come down to who can get that first pick right now. The muskies are rallying in the chat for their team right now. We'll see if it pays off. Here come all the smokes. There's the Hanson Man ultimate. We'll see what happens with it. There's one pick. Kaleoff can't get two. Slumdank gets a nugget. Abink gets Kaleoff, though. Firebirds have to play retake once again. Numbers in their favor this time, though. Can't get it. There's the trade, though, as Coney gets it. Abinks trades that one. 2v2 now. Oh. Abinks gets the shot on the ropes. Happy Samoyed left in a tough scenario to be in. There's the spy cam dart. Not much to be done. Happy Samoy yeah. will just try to save. Save the gun and move on. This is a As tough Lakeland situation. brings it one closer to match point. All right, let's see what the Firebirds are going to switch up. And here the is timeout. the final timeout for the Firebirds. All right, all right. One thing that needs to be said right now is Wes needs to keep his team in it, mm -hmm. okay? This is a larger deficit than there has been the entire game. Lakeland is playing extremely well off each other. The synergy is there. Firebirds just need to find those clicks within their own synergy because once they start comboing together, that's where those picks are going to come in. Mm -hmm. That's where it's going to come in. Lakeland, if in this timeout, you got to just keep your morale high. You can't let that momentum be slowed by this. The retake, uh, Toucan, you're, you're right. The retake plan isn't working. Yeah. Um, and I think that's coming from a lack of experience right now from the Firebirds on Fracture. So I, th I think they got to be able to just defend site a little bit better. Spread out the forces, do a 3-2. And maybe take take more aggressive angles in terms of space. I want someone very deep in A main. I want just something that they won't expect because you've been playing very passive on your sites. Yeah, it's letting that Neon just run right in, do whatever she'd like to do. Did I hear an operator? I thought I heard an operator too. I'm not sure who. <laughs> yeah, I think that's Coney. They are so dead. <laughs> All right, here we go. Only gonna have four yes. bullets. He did Take shoot space. one. Oh, playing more aggressively. I see. There we go. That's what we need from the Firebirds. You know, there we go. Coney gets one. Coney gets two. Oh. Has the Vandal now. Should have one shot left on the ultimate. But there, the numbers advantage is there for the Firebirds now because they took that initial space. Front of A site is completely clear. Now Spike is in the back. There's a shot from A bank that gets slum dank. Very nicely done. Spike has been spotted here. Coney gets another pick. Coney stepping no. up right now. 3v2. They have control of the spike. Thirty seconds left. Just playing it safe. Soren will get Kaylee off. Hoax can't quite get the pick. Is gonna play for the concussion. I say two v two. 
You have control of the spike. They have to get it. Tony has got to hit this shot, though. And now the time should be in favor of the Firebirds. They should be able to make it through. You don't need that, need that pick. Right now, Hoax just has to stay alive. And he and will alive, do so though, <laughs> to keep the Firebirds alive. I have never heard so much screaming over just staying alive. And it's a gotta do sometimes. <laughs> All right. Firebirds have to keep getting scrappy. Mm -hmm. They need to stay aggressive. They can't just fall back to these passive positions. Looks like they're going to be buying uh, <laughs> three vandals. They have a judge and a guardian. Oh, you heard it. Slumdank has declared it judgment day. <laughs> There's a destroyed camera. That's going to be some significant util loss for about 45 seconds, I believe. Tony gets on out of there. They take the space for just a couple seconds here. The spike is left in spawn. We are seeing a full default right now from Lakeland. Slumdank waiting. Kaleoth just firing a warning shot. This is also, I don't know if it's intentional, but it's also a great mind game from Lakeland right now to just keep waiting and waiting and waiting because it's giving those Firebirds the time to overthink. And here comes the execution. We'll see how well it works. Hanson Man's going to get decayed. Stuck in the seas. And now that's all of them concussed. All three concussed right here. There's one. There's the shot from Kaleoth. Down to Kaleoth. In a tough scenario. 1v3. Does catch one. Ah. We bring it to match point, though, as Hanson Man steps up for Lakeland. Match point. Oh, this is going to be a tough one for the Firebirds. They need to win four rounds in a row for overtime. They do need to force overtime. And it's going to be tough. We have only one Vandal so far. A Classic, a Guardian, a Sheriff, and a Spectre. Yeah, we are sitting match point right now for Lakeland U. They're getting loud in the chat. Firebirds, get loud with them because you got to force four straight rounds to get another chance. One at a time here. Take this aggressive angle. Tony does. One. I like it. Gets two. That, oh. Can't get three, though. Exactly. 3v3 now left. It's up to Nugget to finish it off with his team. Hoax is concussed. You know, that match point is the toughest one to get. Oh, no. But Ethan beats out Hoax there. There's an ult being used. Two left. Slumdank has a sheriff. We'll try to run into Ethan here. Ethan at the ready. Gets the Vandal. Last player standing. Now it's just down to Kaylee off. And, and there it is! All over! Clutched up as Lakeland U are your emergence Midwest champions. They take it all the way to game five. Underdogs of the tournament. They march on through the number four seed, the number one seed, and they end it by finishing off the Carthage Firebirds number three seed. Congratulations to them. A Bink. MVP. Oh my, By absolutely. Far. And right under it, I'd say Nugget. Yeah, A Bank and Nugget, an unstoppable duo. Very, very fun to commentate. What an opportunity for us. And thanks so much for coming all this way as well. It's been an absolute joy having the finals have, uh, as Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta Ben. <laughs> and you know, very impressive on the road to take that championship. Congratulations to them. I am definitely giving A Bank that finals MVP right there. Stepped up huge. I think the turning point was that Pearl overtime in mm -hmm. which A-Bank just would not quit. Yeah. Brought it all the way to 18 to 16. GG's overall.
thank you guys so much for watching. It was an amazing season. And I think NECC will start back up in the end of January. So we will see you all then. Damn it. Oh. Cool.